Yo. Member left. Oh wow, TeamSpeak has some loud member left sounds. But yeah, if you guys want to... Probably left. <laughs> awesome. Not so yeah. Under attack. These guys are developers for where, Renegade where X here. Where go? Ooh, nice mix of that under sound. <laughs> so all the music in this mod is original, right? Um, no, it's remade. Member uh, joined. But Sorry about that. Pretty original soundy. Like it sounds like. Yeah, so I'm good Bobby. I am the lab. founder of Renegade X, and uh, we founded this mod a few years ago. We're a mod for Unreal Tournament 3, uh, and uh, this is essentially like a tactical uh, FPS uh, game, like an action game, but with uh, some RTS elements to it. So, for example, you've got structures, and each structure kind of acts as an organ in the base. Um, so, for example, the Nod Refinery has a purpose for collecting credits for the team, and then with those credits, the team can purchase uh, vehicle uh, from the vehicle factory. You can purchase tanks, or from special weapons uh, structures, you can purchase uh, special weapons, so rocket launchers, uh, snipers, and things like that. And uh, then there's automated defenses for each base and on certain maps. So. It's so. I mean, other than just killing the other guy, the purpose of the game is uh, to destroy the enemy base. So I think that sort of makes this concept unique. And the best part is, Renegade X is going to become a standalone game for free uh, in the next, probably in the next year. So first, we're working on a mini uh, single-player portion that should be out in the next couple months. And then after that, we hope to uh, port the multiplayer over with you know some new features and aircraft and things like that. Yeah, if you if you guys are a fan of Renegade, <laughs> yeah, this is like just amazing to play again. <laughs> I used to play this all the time back in like 2002 to 2004, and just really nice to just see all of the, um, all of the game just brought back and all these cool new features too. Like with the Unreal 3 engine, just just seeing how there's lock on now, and yeah, just overall, <laughs> really cool. So standalone yeah, is this for this year. This was uh. Well, we hope the standalone will come out this year. We're not entirely sure about that yet, but um. That's the plan, anyway. So you got the rights from EA? Like, they, they're allowing you to do that? There were no rights necessary, but we had to... Uh, essentially, before starting this mod, we contacted EA and told them about the whole project, and they were fine with it. And since then, we've actually had a pretty stable relationship with uh, EA Los Angeles. Uh, they recently got a new team, but prior to that, uh, we were very close to the old team. They would come beta test with us. Um, and and give us suggestions and they'd also post about us on their like ea.com blogs and things like that so we're pretty cool with them oh really nice <laughs> so all right so you guys are gonna get complete right uh, yeah, sorry, say again. you guys are gonna are gonna go and play yeah yeah, yeah. Actually uh, in the game yeah right just now. Gone in. Uh, yeah, just nice name's uh nielsen I'm uh, any Bobby Jen. I'm in 15th place with zero points right now, so. <laughs> and I'm six for totally not in at the moment because yep. my enrichment update thingy didn't went well. Uh, and I'm in eighth place right now. Hmm. Well, as to that speech that you did earlier, I would suggest you go to first place. Yeah, yeah, I will. What's this then? Two mammoth tanks and I'm just running around with my assault rifle. <laughs> no money. You want a mammoth tank? I can go buy you one. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay, I'm yeah, right I'm on the NOM team, by the way. Oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Most of us are on NOD, so <laughs> giving us a mammoth tank would be a bad idea. Yeah. Okay, I'm in now. You're probably better off just sniping, uh, just stealing one if someone's repairing. Yeah, our base is, like, messed completely. We have, like, two buildings destroyed over here, and we're fighting off a mammoth tank with, like, pretty much guns, pistols. Yeah, it's all my fault. Yeah. Just repairing those tanks out there <laughs> a lot. How long have you been bro uh, broadcasting? Um, I'd say about, like, maybe 30 minutes. Oh, okay, nice. 
Oh, and for, I guess for those tuning in just now, uh, you can check out the mod at renegade-x.com and all the information and download is, is there, and nice pictures and videos. So, is there an ETA for the standalone, um, not standalone, um, is it a single player? Is that a little single player mod? There's no, there's no current ETA right now. We're hoping to get it done sometime this year, probably by the end of the year. Um, but I think in a couple months time we want to release a sort of single player demo, sort of upcoming kind of demonstration of, uh, of what's going to happen later. Like it'll be like a one hour kind of demo of all the vehicles and uh, things like that. It'll be very nice and cinematic and things like that too. Yeah, I was checking out those pictures, it looks really nice. Some very nice features coming up too, like right now we don't have aircraft, but that's definitely planned. Um, even some nice like engine features, so full base system will be featured in the single player, and maybe even some multiplayer maps. Maybe some MCVs? <laughs> we'll see, man, we'll see. <laughs> oh, oh, we just want to give away all of the secrets. <laughs> Fair enough. So that's standalone. Yeah, Bobby, can you um, tell what kind of secrets I cannot tell? It? Oh, we can cheer. Oh yeah, you can talk about your map if you want. That's fine. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it's kind of like that TF2 oh, effect I, after you I, win. I said, are there any secrets that you know I cannot tell? <laughs> well, if I were to talk about them, then they wouldn't be very secret, would they? Well, that was the trap, of course. <laughs> Classy. <laughs> Anyways, the next map will be loading any like momentarily. There we go. Hey, not what up? What map? Okay, I'm on the CDI, yeah, so uh, the you got, you're on Nod actually. Okay. Map. Yeah. Ooh, walls. Awesome. Hey, Garman, I'm gonna switch to your team, um, and maybe we can do some tactics. Oh, that'd be great. Ah, uh, damn. Great. We're gonna lose now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go take out that uh, harvester. Actually, you know what? Can you switch to uh, GDI? Um, actually, no, wait, never mind, never mind. I already switched. Okay. Yeah, I want to do some nod stuff. I want to do some nod stuff. Alright, so, uh. Okay. Where are you? Oh, I'm by the left side, going into the center cavern thing. Alright, I'll yeah, just as long as you keep die. telling us our, uh, your tactics, then uh, we'll be fine. <laughs> oh, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> You have no idea if I'm telling the truth. That's true, we could just lie. And then F3 is for uh, team chat, so... Exactly. Oh shoot. Ah. Damn. Grenadiers. Hey, they've got Never people heading towards the their base. Plan. When I do spawn in the power plant, it's the most far away building. You can just kill yourself, right? <laughs> yeah, type suicide. Cabin that, and uh, suicide. By the way, Fabi, the music I'm hearing right now, is that the same as uh, what's pl being played at your end? Yeah, I think so. Ooh. Like a radio Ooh. system? Yeah, I think so, like yeah. The music is a server-side mutator. But a lot of the songs are made by the, the Renegade X team. Yeah, they're pretty good covers. Yeah, thank you very much. This one's an original, but uh, most of the others are uh, remakes. Oh, okay, so when you're ready, uh, I'll, I'm on the airstrip with my vehicle, so you can just get what I got. Let's see what you got. Oh, I see you. I'll, I'll cover you. Whoa, I got destroyed by a friend of mine. It's really annoying. Um... APC incoming. Gotcha. Yeah, so are you the other vehicle? 
Yeah, I am. Okay, let's take this out. I'm buying a mid tank. Thanks for telling us what you're doing. Right over there, to the right. You're not right. Okay. I'm in your oh, team. We it. Oh, damn. Who's in that right tank, side. by the way? Oh, no. I'm down. We need to focus. Yeah, we repairs. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was hiding behind a rock like a coward and then, uh, oh. Not going well. Hiding. Why is every everybody feeding my, my, my shot? That's really annoying. Behind us, by the way. Did they blow you up? Did they? Yeah. Oh, by the way, Fabi, this guy sat next to uh, Day Nine. Oh, you know Day Nine? Yeah, Fabi and I are uh, avid fans, I suppose. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, me and Day Nine cast it together in New York Comic Con. Yeah, I got him to play Renegade X one day. Uh, it'd be nice to uh, have him around. <laughs> oh, I totally took the wrong vehicle there. What the heck? Somebody help me with the two. Uh, incoming vehicles. Are, are you killing a light tank? Uh, I was. Yeah. Never mind. No, I, I I bought a um, artillery and thought I'd buy the light tank for some reason. Are they using MRLs? Uh, I think they have medium Thank tanks out. Okay. No problem. Okay. Yeah, I'll cover you guys. Man, the repair sound freaks me out. Ah, uh, somebody stole my tank. What's this then? Of course they did. That's what do you get for repairing? <laughs> I have uh, to blow up my own tank. And some credits. Warning, hand is not under attack. Okay, I got a ravisher. Uh, let's take these guys out. Man, 24 people in the game, this is feeling like the old days. Oh, did you take out the, the tanks? Yeah, the okay. front is clear. Alright, just push you out. Uh, APC. Yeah. Are you the uh, right mobile artillery tank. just coming up? You, uh, yes, I'm coming up. You're the other light tank? No, I'm uh, no, the you, uh, Ravishaw. I'm the artillery. Okay, what, APC. So you're on the North team as well? Yeah, of course. I was Traitor. the one that almost killed you. Are you trying to get that MRLS? Down. Down. Well, too many tanks in their team for me to attack that. Alright, let's move forward, guys. There's a medium tank coming in. Try to cover me. Yeah, I gotcha. Fall him back. Let's keep moving forward. Med tank down. Oh, headshot. Oh, headshot. Damn, I accidentally buy the APC. Med tank by the barracks. Yeah, see it. I got another 15 shots. Two med tanks. I got. Ooh, that one was just dirty. I'll try to snipe a structure. GDI weapons factory under attack. Yeah, structure's at 50% health. I got ah. another one on my eyes. I got another one. Rocket to the face. Attacking? Weapons factory. Oi. Just lost my um, artillery. Okay, I got an idea. Yeah, I Just think look what I typed. 
Ah. Ah, I got taken out. Guys, yeah, just type what I'm getting. Uh, if you have enough credits, definitely get that too. Oh, I love this stealth sound. Yeah. Buying a stealth thing. Huh. Yep. Yeah. Hey, wait up! Is there a medium tank outside our base? Gun run. We might want to take the ramp and not use we the main entrance. No, it's okay. Oh wait, is there a medium tank in there? I think there's a medium tank on our left side. Okay. I'll just do a distraction. Oh, fair we'll enough. never expect it. I just want to snipe a refinery. Warning. GDI Tiberium refinery under oh no, there's no medium tank up here. Oh, okay, cool. Well, you know what to do, stealth tanks. <laughs> Someone's making themselves up here. So, what do we need to do? <laughs> we need to do things, don't worry. Well, man, you're the dev, man. You should be telling us what to do. Yeah, well, I'm a mapper. I'm not the, uh, the gameplay uh, expert like you are. Oh, they, did, they got nothing on us. Let's just take out the weapons factory. Did you see what I just posted for Nod? That's where I'm going. Oh, okay, we'll yeah. take out the weapons okay. factory, okay? Back weapons factory, whatever. Oh, crap. What the hell's shooting me? Shoot that empty thing. <laughs> refinery, refinery. Go, 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 go. Jeez, med tank. Are they countering? Yeah, they've got a one tank at our base, so we got them though. Good power plant next. Nice. Oh, there was proximity well, I think C4. we won this, right? I'd say yes. <laughs> Game over. Well, I just planted a nuclear strike in our bed just for the live stream. Just for fear, okay. <laughs> Counterproductive. Okay, so look at the airstrip and then you will see... Uh, There's two mammoth tanks at our front uh, door, guys. I don't think oh, we're done I yet. We yet. Won it. Well, yeah, if those tanks are gone, that's all they can build. Oh yeah, that's it. They need to keep oh, those yeah, guys alive. Yeah. So they kind of got us contained. I spent all my money on a nuke. Here, I, I'm I'm behind them with a flame tank. I'm gonna try to sneak around ah, and uh, you. snipe the racks. Look at the nice nuke Look. at the power plant. Wow. Yeah, it's awesome. I don't think it quite work as a diversion, but it's very pretty. <laughs> uh, too bad I wasn't there to see it. Oh, there's a uh, mammoth tank coming back there, base. So bad at driving this thing. Uh. Uh, where are you, and with what vehicle? The cell tank power plant that I'm failing a hardcore. Nice. Yeah, Fabi, that's one point of uh, improving the game, I think. Just also you, uh, add the nickname to the vehicles. Oh, Hand of Nods destroyed? What oh, the heck? Yeah, they took it out when we rushed their base. Huh. You guys want to do a flame tank rush? I can't afford it, but if someone... I'll just come in as a repair guy. Okay. I can hardly buy a small Jeep. Uh, you've got a beat already, I can't buy a vehicle nor uh, special infantry, so... Are they just killing our harvester every time? I've got a present for you! Harvester's right there. So, yeah. I'm guessing no. Yeah. Did... Where'd my flame tank go? Did I buy a flame tank? What? DIE! Warning, GDI power plant under attack. I broke my toy, can I get Are you sure that cell tank's not yours? I guess it is. I keep forgetting what I buy. What the well, heck? if nobody can enter it, then it's yours. Because there's a 30 second slot for 
only you entering a vehicle. Hmm. Good stuff. Warning, GDC is Power plant under attack. Oh, nice to see 25 people in game. Yeah, right? Is that the max? Let's run some people over. Oh, nice. Did we take out those um, mammoth tanks? I think so. Uh. Yeah, I don't see them around. But it means they don't have any cool things anymore. Love running people over with the stealth tank. Oh, oh, that was awesome. Yeah, I just landed on an artillery and now it's running me over. Classy. Did somebody steal my artillery? Where is it? Right there. Well, it took longer than usual. Yeah, something's wrong, I think. Ah, I took out the hot wire repairing, which we will take it out. Ion cannon beacon deployed. Oh god. Ion cannon strike initiated. Oh, where is that? I'll see if we can nip it out. Yeah. I bet it was uh, somebody trying to be funny. Yeah. You're that or like. Oh, I think I know the problem. There's a vehicle limit for some reason in the server. Oh, like the real Renegade? Really? Yeah, but normally there isn't one. Yeah, because the only can support more. <laughs> oh, so we got a whole bunch of new viewers. So where can he go and get this mod at? Should I uh, start over with the explanation then, or? No, if you wanna. People are just calling this Renegade 2 right now in chat. <laughs> yeah, so this is the uh, Renegade X mod for Unreal Tournament 3, and uh, you can visit our website at renegade-x.com. And this is a tactical FPS uh, mod, and we plan to make it a standalone free game within the next year. Uh, so definitely look out for that next release. And essentially, this the gameplay uh, of this game is a uh, tactical FPS. So it's, it's sort of like an FPS RTS hybrid. So it's an FPS with some uh, real-time strategy elements like the structures. And without key structures, you can't build, let's say, vehicles or Without a refinery, you can't uh, receive free credits anymore. Without a barracks, you can't uh, you can't uh, purchase advanced uh, weapons. So each each uh, building is vital, and the key of the uh, game is to destroy the other base. We won. When it looks like it's really really laggy, then you know you won. <laughs> Love this uh, what cheering. was the command for changing teams again? Uh, what? it'll remix, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, but this time I want to be uh, on your team, because this wasn't much fun at all. So we'll all do GDI yeah, the, next one? Yeah. <laughs> you totally crushed us this time. Uh, those mammoth tanks, if they were coordinated a bit better, could have done some heavy damage if we lost our hand or not. Oh yeah, when I was looking at the I map, directed them with my, with my. I think this is a new map, like a new version of that map. So it just gets downloaded automatically, server side. Oh, okay. Like in that but last map. That's probably boring for a live stream. <laughs> that's fine. The downloading, of course. So, probably. Yeah, uh, where are you? In the walls map, I really like I'm how you added the map. The, like that narrative justification about how it works out. Because never in the in Renegade you had that yeah, ramp yeah. going into the base on GDI side. I really like that touch. Kind of, it kind of makes like touch, it yeah. like not just a random canyon with two bases in it for no reason. Yeah, I'm in red. Anyway, this Same this new map. Uh, this is actually a fan map because Renegade X has a. Uh, like, we have an editor, so fans can make their own maps and their own mods for Renegade X, essentially. Can somebody tell him that he has to put less grass in to make it a bit smoother? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm getting FPS problems in this map. <laughs> but it's still pretty good design. Well, it was better than last time I checked this map. The F1, I guess. Huh. What's the map called? Mountain. Uh, X Mountain. Yeah, that. Hmm. Is it shaped like an X by any chance? Here, once I get back to base, we yeah. can do some tactics. Cool. Is it a large map? Is it worth me trying to harass the harvester right now? Uh, it's not that large. There's actually a shortcut, though. Um, it's near the airstrip. Wait, are you on NOD or GDI? GDI. Okay, it should be n near your weapons factory. There's a way upwards. It's red GDR. And I'm actually buzzer. Where, where's Bobby? This guy looks weird. Bobby, where are you? Where are you? I'm... Oh, shit, sorry. I need to set my name. Huh? I'm just running around right now. feel kind of lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Nod. Nod harvester under attack. So. Yes. It's always nice to know that this mod always gets That's me. Maps, even while the original Renegade team isn't Hand really working on it anymore. Attack. Oh, jeez. Proximity C4. Warning. GDI yeah, the Renegade X team is working on the indie game at the Power moment. Power plant. Nod harvester under attack. Why is everybody stealing my kills? It's really annoying. <sighs> we lost the power plant. No. <laughs> Now everything's gonna cost twice as much, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, There's no defenses in the map, so uh, defenses are not down. But yeah, everything will cost twice as much. Oh, where's Havoc? He said he would be here. No, I haven't spoken to him in a uh, while, so... I, I thought I would know. Yeah, kill. So, uh, Father, uh, tomorrow's my assessment. Uh, would you like me to resume work on Black Dawn's cutscenes or whatever? Oh, I just crashed. I just crashed. Yeah, I think it's the map. Ah, uh, let me right. look. I think most people are... No, people are moving. Oh, yes, this will be yeah. standalone in a few months, hanging guys. hanging in the air, in the air, uh, by base thingy. So some people crashed, some people didn't? Yeah. No, I think the server crashed. Yeah, I'm still in game. Oh, okay. Well, and Havoc's there as well. I got leggy now. Hey, I'm rejoining. Same. Havoc is entering or not? Oh, oh, yeah, Bobby. Yeah, Bobby. Uh, what should I work on I next? Work on I say continue, continue with the map. Your map. You're sure? Um, Alaska. Or canvas, or whatever you want to call it. A Bob Ross inspired map. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. I'm back. Morning. Yeah, Here's I'm back to Wow, we're at the verge of, of like, server Member camp. joined. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's full right now, but you cannot see Oh, um, like that. it's just because I think a few people crashed, so some of those names are still there, but yeah, the server number is not correct. Oh, yeah, my name is totally spoofed right now. I'm player 500, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I'm your nickname. Awesome. Warning. 
Time to use the grenader. Is it grenadier or grenader? <laughs> uh, grenadier, because there's an I in it. Damn, alright. Warning, GDI infantry barracks under attack. So this server, is it hosted by a fan or is it an official one? Uh, surprisingly, like, almost everything is fan-run, so this server is run by mpgaming.com, uh, our Facebook is run by a fan, a Twitter is run by a fan, and, like, everything just sort of gets done now. <laughs> Got oh. a good fan base. Okay. Oh. Maybe I'll host a server. <laughs> yeah, this is the, like, main Renegade X server. We used to have an official one, but, uh, th this one, um, the, the people that run this server continually make mutators. So, they take care of it. And that's exactly what you want for a mod. People that <laughs> take care of it. Exactly. Warning. Is there any chance to be ported to PS3? Uh, originally we had plans, I guess, but um, the UDK does not have a... Feat like, you can't port UDK games to the PS3 and... Uh, since we want to be standalone, we're moving Renegade X over to the UDK. Oh, fair enough. So, uh, fair enough. yeah, PC only. Hmm, I see that I'm more uh, not elites here, apparently. Yeah, taking that, that power plant was an awful thing to have happen. <laughs> oh, we just lost the weapons factory. Yeah, my lost fault, sorry. What's the next map? So we'll uh, be able to view this stream uh, after it's done on your side. Pardon? Yeah, you can stream this on glhf.tv. So right now, this has all the maps from Renegade, right? Not all of no. them, but we have... Uh, Seven, seven maps uh, with a stock version, and I think there's two or three fan maps, including this one. Mm, nice. And the fan maps are originals. Uh, we have one original so far uh, for this version, but our standalone version, we want to have more original maps, and I think less remakes. Well, a fire tank is really, really effective against infantry, you know. Nuclear strike initiated. Please evacuate target area. Countdown initiated. And I think the next map is going to be the other fan map, Meteor. Thirty seconds to reach minimum safe distance. Twenty-five. Twenty. Is there a nuke inbound? Yep. Yeah, I believe so. It's on the refinery. Game over. We're about to lose. Oh, lovely. Oh, do I miss the, all the engineers around the MCT? <laughs> Here it comes. Run. Nice. Game nice teamwork, guys. Good game. GG. Game over. <laughs> yeah, the new fact is the best part of the mod, in my opinion. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, especially when you get it to work. <laughs> well, I actually didn't ever play this map, Meteor.
Yeah, I'm downloading as well. Havoc saying he's on TeamSpeak, but he can't talk. Yeah, he is, uh, unfortunately, he was born mute. <laughs> Bobby, not that young again. Let's get old. <laughs> He just called me jackass, alright. So, um, I'm on Nod. No, you're not. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that was yeah, I'm terrible. on GDI. I'm still downloading. <laughs> yeah, me too. And let me take a look at the live stream, how many players are actually watching. Oh, are people commenting on the uh, live stream? Yeah. Are there any questions uh, for the dev team, perhaps, that we can answer? Well, I'll take a look at the text now, maybe coming there. Let me mute the live stream because I can hear myself, which is really awesome, but double awesome. Really annoying. Ah, that should have been my kill. Yeah. Somebody's asking entertainment only for Xbox or and PS3. You kinda got quiet, Zexer, I can't hear you. PS3. What? You look I can't really hear you. You look white. So here's a question from Zal Gridis. How long have you spent on the project so far? Well, we initially started planning phases in the mod sometime mid-2006, but in terms of actual, I guess, day-to-day -day work on the mod, uh, you can say from early 2007. We made our first release September 2009, and um, uh, this 0.55 is our last Unreal Tournament 3 release, which was in September 2010. And pretty much ever since the UDK, the Unreal Development Kit, came out, We've been working on porting this to the uh, to the UDK, so it'll be completely standalone and free. So I guess you could say about three years. Here's another question. A bit question. more than that, I guess. Um, from Flying Warpig. Um, other than the standalone, what feature slash upgrade slash updates do you plan? Like, in terms of the gameplay itself? I suppose. Um, well, we plan on uh, adding air vehicles. Is, I guess that's one of the main upgrades. Uh, new maps. Uh, uh, we want to do airstrike beacons eventually. Uh, we want to do, like I said earlier, a uh, standalone uh, single player in probably a couple months. Um, and mostly, like, I guess little features like that. Maybe some more buildings, some more game modes. So you'll be adding even more beacons? Like, an air... Huh. That's gonna be pretty cool. Right now, there's the super weapon beacon, so nuclear strike and ion cannon. Uh, but I think we want to, maybe at least in certain maps, have some kind of airstrike beacon. So instead of sort of direct damage against one building, it would be more sort of spread out damage against a, uh, a field of things. Targets. Oh, so it'll also look better too once you port to UDK? Oh yeah, much better. Um, nice. Like, uh, we went a few months without playing Manual Tournament 3 version. And uh, just in the UDK, like, w our, our, our single player is going to be called Black Dawn. And we were really busy with Black Dawn for a few months. And then when we went back to uh, this version, uh, everything looked so much worse for some reason. I mean, it, this looks, it still looks pretty good, but the UDK is something else completely. It's like, Unre it's like Unreal Engine 3.5, essentially.
Yeah, I'm really excited awesome now. Song right now. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And I hope you're you're enjoying uh, the game. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy me playing this like this. <laughs> oh god, y'all have filling tanks? Yeah. Well, every player in the game is an extra, you know. Well, I, I played your mod, uh, the gun run, so it's uh, only fair you play ours now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did? Nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I remember uh, for uh, generals it was, I believe. Yep, zero retarded, <laughs> two thousand and four. Damn. What mod was that? Yeah, it was the retarded mod series. I was like fourteen oh. at the time. Oh, yeah. you're that guy. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've been around for a while. Oh, good mod guy. Yeah, Definitely an inspiration to, to us all. Yeah, did you guys used to visit the official Renegade forums a lot at all? Oh, I, I still visit it from time to time. It's a big joke. <laughs> now it is, right? I think everyone yeah. just goes there to troll. <laughs> I don't mind, actually, because of that, but... Yeah, I still remember all those old um, times we used to have. Oh, what was that guy? Like, Go F a Maple Tree, that Havoc? You remember him? <laughs> oh, man, do you remember the uh, the Mod Wars? Like, the Reborn versus the Path Beyond? Oh, my like, God, yeah. Uh, oh, my God, yeah. Troll War a few years ago? <laughs> Yeah, that w are those mods still in production? Yeah, Path Beyond, uh, it's a standalone W3D mod, uh, and you could definitely you could go and download. I actually talked to the devs yesterday; they were some good guys. But Reborn is uh, still kind of unreleased, I guess. Yeah, like yeah, it's been so many years. I I was kind of excited about that, but uh, just took so long. Oh yeah, it's because. Uh, Reborn did a 2003 release, which was actually very exciting. This was just, you know, a year after Renegade. Uh, and ever since then, they've sort of been uh, working on their current version, but it's been like seven years. Yeah, seven years. Oh, no! <laughs> hmm. Is Aircraft Killer still doing anything with the Path Beyond? <laughs> I don't think so, man. <laughs> I remember all that stuff going on there. Good time. Indeed. It'd be cool to get some of those guys um, we'll up and playing guys. this once it's out. Like, once standalone hits, oh, like, for sure. Be uh, great. Actually, in the server right now, in fourth place is One Winged Angel on Nod, and uh, he has his own mod called uh, Apocalypse Rising, which is a Red Alert 2 sort of uh, kind of renegade style uh, game, and that one's looking very exciting as well. Nice. The whole community is starting to come back again, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is, uh... <laughs> I guess this is sort of the outgrowth of the original Renegade, because, I mean, there was no sequel to the original game, so instead you have all these mods that are sort of trying to do just that. I'm kind of liking this new map. Just the way we're all just funneling together here. In this tunnel. <laughs> well, I think yeah, we're really Renegade map falls fast when there's, yeah, uh, these yeah. choke points. Oh, um, there's a obelisk there. <laughs> well, let's kill it with fire. With sniper oh, no. rifles. I'll try to aggro it. Rush. <laughs> this is really bad, actually. <laughs> I've got no money. Oh, God. I think I just let everyone to die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that was terrible. Thank you for off there in the chat. So yeah, when's we're gonna get X coming to iPhone. <laughs> ah, chat. <laughs> Next week. Oh, you sorry. know that's funny because um, <laughs> the UD the newest version of the UDK actually has uh, an iPhone editor. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I read about that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I read about that. <laughs> I guess going to the iPhone is unrealistic at this point, but uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll come back in uh, 2020 and make a Renegade X2. Yeah, for the iPad 7 well, iPhone or something. 17. Oh God! Don't even <laughs> don't even remind me of that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for the PSP 2. <laughs> well, 
they say at Sony that it's as powerful as the PS3, so... Oh yeah, they did Never say know. that. If it is, who knows, right? Yeah. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is this the last you'll see of the Ranked X team? Probably not. I don't know. For oh some God. reason, I did something. Now my arms in my field of view. Oh, I've had that bug before. Just kill yourself. Kill yourself. Whoa, that looks crazy. My left arm totally ripped out and flying above me, with the gun also flying somewhere. Why does Humvee drives all weird? <laughs> like a real one now. Ah. Oh, we sniped, we stole a, a light tank, nice. Err. To whoever's in the uh, nod buggy, there's a C4 in your back. Well, me. <laughs> well, it could have been. So any more plans to do more dev events like this? I think we do one on average once a month. I think GDI is yeah. getting on track again with the rush. GDI needs more engineers on these tanks. Well, you can't have it all. Yeah, you can. Because if you have a lot of tanks, you can't have a lot of engineers, because they're all out of engineers. They're in the tank. So I guess to those that are just tuning in now, uh, you can find this mod at renegade-x.com uh, for Unreal Tournament 3. Please buy Unreal Tournament 3 on the legal way. I like how it tells you how much time that specific buyer has access to the vehicle. <laughs> I just feel like waiting it out and just... Yeah, that was one thing, uh... <laughs> it gives you how many seconds left uh, for you to steal it. <laughs> you can steal this in 17 seconds. <laughs> yeah, you were trying to steal my APC, so get your hands off it. <laughs> Alright, right. I also love how you brought back the whole control, like number key thing to just take commands. It's just you can't spam it as much as you used to. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was on purpose. <laughs> I know, but that was fun. <laughs> I still remember back in the day we used to say like the same, we'd be like, take the point like six times. And everyone on the team would join in and it'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like, you hear like a uh, nuclear strike radio, radio commands was a... <laughs> radio commands was a pretty... Uh, important part of the game so and I think with the standalone version we have plans to actually have sort of battlefield style uh, spotting of vehicles so if you see Good. like a uh, Good. yeah you see like a mammoth tank it'll be like mammoth tank spotted and it'll show it on the radar that's gonna be really nice just don't enable voice chat just don't ever do that <laughs> <laughs> or o only do voice chat for 16 plus uh, no you're not even <laughs> <laughs> and then you have like bad behavior tests, and if you do a bad behavior, you get banned from play it'll, forever. It'll turn like into Xbox Live. Uh. There is no Xbox version but with voice chat. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, voice chat would be terrible, especially if the uh, 4chan community catches on to our mod. Oh God, you should add sprays. <laughs> Oh man. By the way, Fabi, when was Renegade X birthday? Birthday? Yeah, our Renegade X birthday is, um, well, I guess the day we were founded, I guess, or publicly announced, rather, January 28th, uh, 2007. 
So that's pretty soon, folks. But the our release anniversary, September thirtieth, uh, two thousand nine. So will the standalone be called version one? Uh, I think one thing that we want to really unveil is uh, right now it's called Renegade X, and I think the standalone version will be called Command and Conquer Renegade X, just to sort of complete the name. Do we have permission for that? Command and Conquer in front of the name? No, I'm sure it'll be fine, but we'll make sure. Gotta talk to the new community manager when that gets announced. <laughs> Yeah, we're actually really buddy buddy with the old community manager, um, but uh, EA LA has since replaced most of their team. Yeah, I heard about that. I was over there working on TNT4 with those guys. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's part of the community test for that. We tried our best. Ah, oh, Stealth Tank, don't run me over now. God damn it. Whoa, that actually so I haven't been uh, really following the news, but are they working on a new Command and Conquer yet? Or? Yes, they are. But, like, there's <laughs> Any nothing. idea what it is? There's no idea. Hmm. I have a Wait, you have no idea, or they have no idea? I have no idea. Um. Oh. I do have, actually I do have some idea, some but I don't know if I can talk about it. <laughs> I saw some rumors on CNTNZ that it was going to be like a, a new universe. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping it is. Maybe Generals is a weird way. I guess we'll see. By the way, Fabi, how many um, maps are there for Renegade Axe at this point? Uh, UT3 version has, I think, seven, seven, or I think seven stock maps and two fan maps, so nine altogether. Uh, yeah, but I think uh, we want to take some of the best maps of this version uh, and maybe remake them or rework them rather uh, for the standalone version, and then make some completely new maps as well. And that's what Zixer and Nielsen here are working on. If we can get up this, oh my God, we did it! <laughs> oh my God, we did it! <laughs> We climbed up the side of that mountain to the meteor. Yeah, never been to this side. Is that Let's the liquid go. Tiberium thing? Huh. What? There's like a river by the Tiberium meteor. Uh, 49 people. Not bad. So people, that are now watching and you almost finished downloading. There is room again. Oh, how many people are watching this stream? Oh. Um, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, isn't that just sad? This GDI medium tank is now Nod. Uh, don't repair ever. <laughs> Out of base. Oh, God. Oh, it was like a well, huge like tank battle. Yeah, I can hear it. That uh, defense system of the knots are going crazy, man. Ow. Strange guy, he was like, well, let me in the tank. And then, oh, he was in the tank and I was like, okay. And then he stopped, get out. Oh, according to Jam, there's 219 people on on the stream. Sweet. Getting down, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're live on TV. Yes, we are, buzzer. Technically, if they have Google TV, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that one hurt. Maybe it's because of the the maps because they are aren't the real remakes or are they? Well, this one's totally original. That's right? cool because we didn't even advertise the event. Um, well, I mean the, uh, the the streaming. I mean, 
This is completely on your People side. Know. People. Yep. I'm so surprised you guys used TeamSpeak too. It was so hard to find a Dallin for this thing again. <laughs> I think we were just too lazy to switch over. Well, that ain't fair. That nothing. That the uh, almost didn't give me any warning for firing. It could have pre-charged, right? <laughs> That happened a lot in Renegade. <laughs> it charges up and just holds it the uh, whole time. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not a, a Renegade, old Renegade player, so I'm like, hopefully no experience with it. So for the single player, is that going to be based at all <laughs> on the Renegade <laughs> single player missions at all, or is that totally original? Uh, it's like a, just a mini campaign, uh, sort of our own idea, but it'll be kind of reminiscent of uh, some of the old missions as well. Like, we want to do a uh, sort of opening of the mission is a lot like the original Command and Conquer with the beachhead and the turrets and stuff. I don't know if you remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Fun. And you're going to be rescuing some scientists, and there's going to be some characters from the original Renegade, so... It's a lot of fun so actors. far. Um, <laughs> we're using oh a lot dear. of the oh old content, but yeah, we do, uh, Nielsen over here, uh, does, uh, an original character. Nope. No. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Did he deny it? The thing about the old Renegade is, uh, the always.bat folder actually has, like, thousands of unused sounds, like voice, uh, clips from different characters. <laughs> So we can make a pretty much completely original single player without having to reuse any of the old sounds. But of course, I mean, we're going to have to reuse some of the classics, like, you know, got a present for you when you blow something up. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I remember diving through that always that dead file, like, yeah, there were a bunch of lock sounds and a bunch of missions that just didn't exist. Yeah. It's a lot of, a lot of good stuff, a lot of fun. Yeah, kind of glad they just So we just sort of pieced of that together and made something new. So how long did you play the original Renegade for? I thought your screen name looked pretty familiar. Um, I played when it first came out, and up until, I believe, the hackers started getting to it. Like 2004 or 5. Oh. oh. God, I just got yeah, randomized. Yeah, uh, around 04, yeah. Uh, Renegade community tried to do some anti-cheat thing called Renguard back then. I and remember that. That, I guess, temporarily took care of the cheats, but it wasn't all that good. Yeah. Cheating was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one of the problems with the original game was uh, uh, everyone was just able to just put in model replacements or skin replacements that uh, that you were able to give away stealth uh, people, for example, or give certain characters big heads. <laughs> yeah, the big head cheat. That was funny. Or, Do people get headshots yeah. like five at once? Yeah, it was pretty obvious. There was Everyone else sort of caught on. There was so much griefing back then, before that it was even a word. People would just, like, casually just insta-repair mammoth tanks that they pushed in, then ban that guy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but for Renegade, Renegade X, uh, all players have to play with the same client as the, uh, as the server version. So, there's none of that cheating. Yeah, and I'm really glad about that. It's going to be real, real nice. Give this new generation of gamers something to look forward to <laughs> from the past. Right. One second. Well, when Fabi says one second, it probably means six minutes or... Half an hour or something. Thousands of seconds in yeah. actual LP. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really. He's bad with with numbers or hours. Oh, not like that. Totally. 
I like how it's helmet. Oh, by the way, Victor, I'm behind you. Uh, could you slow down a bit? With what? I'm right behind you, slow down a bit. Yeah, thank you. Oh. I was like, I was talking too far for you. Nah. I'm back. Yeah, we were just saying every time, uh... You say a few seconds, but <laughs> usually an hour or so. Well, this time I was right. <laughs> yeah. Got a little uh, satellite surprise with me, so if you'll uh, keep me alive. I think you just gave away ah, what you were doing. That's gonna be, yeah. That was an expensive death. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but this map is pretty narrow when you attack. Oh crap. Crap, man. Aircraft's gonna be fun in this map. So is anyone in uh, Yeah, we're doing some pretty interesting things with the aircraft. A uh, few surprises. I think one thing that we've said so far was, uh, I don't know if you remember the Chinook helicopter, how they used to call it the Flying Coffin? <laughs> yep. Yeah, so, <laughs> to make it a lot less useless, we added uh, passenger guns to that. So, um, that'll be pretty interesting. And you can check out those pictures on our, on our website. Oh, any chance we'll see some of those cheat vehicles or cheat mutant models? Oh, the the extras? Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. But uh, there'll be some sort of extra... Like, one of the features that we want to add to the standalone version is uh, we want to do, like, tech buildings. So, for example, you'll be able to uh, maybe capture a building that can give you some special abilities. Oh, cool. Get an engineer in there. Yeah. Just sort of like they start off neutral, and then what a team captures it, and you'll get some special abilities. So the one we have for sure so far is like an oil rig, where um, if you if a team captures it, they'll get more credits. Uh, and then there's some other ideas like an armory where you can have uh, weapon attachments and things like that. But no um, chameleon or sedans, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, the sedans, uh, I, again, I think a lot of that stuff was just sort of for fun. I mean, the thing died, like, in ten bullets. Yep. So it would be funny to see in, a, like, just in some multiplayer game someone just spending it. Probably somebody asked you if uh, you know when the answer. Renegade Act will be released. You're uh, looking at the stream right now, Zixi? What? I'm looking at... No, in-game that was. Probably will probably answer something like 2000... 47, if I'm wrong. If yeah, 47. Wrong. That's uh, that's when Renegade X Island is coming out. It might be a little board, bit right? late. Once Ethereum <laughs> is in your backyard, uh, it will probably be released. <laughs> yeah. And and when we're done earlier than that, we can say our release date is uh, scuffed up a few years, and then we're the first guys that ever did a release pre-release before. Five years in advance or something. <laughs> We're five years yeah, early. I heard the uh, world was coming to an end uh, late 2012, so I think uh, we want to get it released before then. Oh, that'd be good, yeah. Yeah, you can get like a couple months of playing at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For the single player or the multiplayer? Havik, thank you. <laughs> multiplayer. You should just release it the day after we're supposed to all die. End of 2012? Yeah, that would be a good, like, middle finger to, uh, <laughs> to them. Yeah. November 22nd, 2012 is the release date. Oh no! Oh no! 
Oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, light Bobby, by the way, how many multi -ma uh, multiplayer maps are we aiming at? I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, like, you mean for the standalone release, right? For the multiplayer release. I guess we'll see how many we can make on our first run, but again, like the multiplayer release will probably be it'll probably be a couple major releases and then some patches after that just to add new maps and fix stuff. I love the Renegade X sniper rifles, they're really awesome with zooming. Interesting, there's a random bunch of tires next to the uh, Tiberium meteor meteorite. <laughs> I wonder how they ended up there. <laughs> Probably by a Hartford get that that gets destroyed. Got. It's a weird coincidence. Yeah, Tiberium gets keep, keeps getting weirder and weirder. Like in the first game, didn't they come in like little like brown things? Yeah, the little put pudding bowls. Yeah, glad he did away with those. Yeah, there's actually we get a lot of crap for uh, for our Tiberium design sometimes because um, there's so many different versions of Tiberium in the series that when we make our own, everyone's like, "No, you're not, you're not, you know, staying by the original," and or it's not shiny enough or something like that. It should be more transparent. It should be growing all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we do kind of want to add that to one of the maps. Uh, that would be cool. Nielsen's yeah. making a map. Can you have like a map where I can buy harvesters for that purpose? Like maybe a mini game? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll see. I mean, if we can get it working, that would be really nice. Harvester Wars. Woo. Well, the map yeah, probably has uh, there been a lot of fallout oh. yeah, over the Tiberium. Nine. Sorry, Zixer. Uh, has there been a lot of fallout over the new Tiberium? I'm sorry. If you've got a lot of fallout over the new Tiberium, are people complaining? Uh, there's this one guy in our forums that, like, he, he's saying that it's not enough, like the Tiberian Dawn ti um, Tiberium. So there's no there's no pudding bowls, but. Everyone's trying to tell yeah. them, like, the yeah. pudding bowls are ugly. Yeah. I think everybody agrees on that. And the and the people that doesn't agree with us can always make their own and then start an entire Ranking new renegade targets. mod and make everything from scratch the way they want it. Yeah, I made a new right? mod with pudding bowls. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, if yeah. you really if you're really crazy about the way we do our Tiberium, you can just make a mutator for Renegade X uh, <laughs> and run it on your server. <laughs> And get your own tab. <laughs> this map has some nice sniper locations. <laughs> yeah, we've been uh, at this stalemate for quite some time now. I'd, yeah. I'd like yeah, to I'd win. I'd love to see the next. I don't, yeah, I want to go see more remakes. Yeah, 11 minutes. Until this map ends. Unless we destroy the base somehow. Can we well, not skip 11 it? minutes. There's mm. I think the administrators can do a, a question mark next. Do a vote map? Next map or so. Can well, we who just is uh, type disable obelisk or something and we can uh, <laughs> waltz in? 
Yeah, you, know, you would like our defenses yeah, to go down. Yeah, yeah I'd like that. Because we already had pwned you all a lot when it, it wouldn't be online. Oh, there's invisible walls here. Okay. Yeah. Nod harvester under <laughs> Uh, Fabi, are you a chance a Ravager or not? <laughs> There's like three of them though. Oh no, I'm I'm in the obelisk. Hey, Havik, oh, we're the one killing us. <laughs> <laughs> Manually operating the obelisk. Is that possible? Hey, Havik, uh, just give me a second. No, it's not possible. Okay, that'd be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sure would be. Maybe the turrets, that could be fun. I guess it would be easier for the players. Because the damn thing always shoots and it hits. And if a player will play on it, it will probably miss all the time. Yeah, stand still, engineer. Yeah, stand still, engineer. Oh, I guess that's but as you guys can see, like almost everything is working. I oh, have our team has like rail guns. By the way, did we uh, GDI destroy something of your Nod guy base? Nod airstrip under attack. Nod harvester under attack. Oh, the server's maxed out. Nice. And we're losing. How many goddamn explosions can you put on the floor? Is that a question? <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. It's a riddle. <laughs> <laughs> because I see you here like 30 or something in front of this hallway. Why don't you move to the UDK? Can you have like 30 completely times own all these tanks? Hey Gunrun, are you getting this like massive battle? I'm getting a good amount of it. I'm yeah, just sitting here. Yep. I miss a giant away. green suit, Sydney. Though. <laughs> uh, we thought this one was a little better looking. I like this shirt. Yeah. Not the only one. <laughs> Why do we there aren't any people out there who the flame tank, flame tank, flame tank. Have any? Yeah. Zixer, are you watching the stream? Is there anyone uh, with any particular wishes for the new Renegade Axe? Let me take a look. Might be nice to hear uh, some people's opinions on it. Well, or questions. Could you make C4 easier? Yeah, the remote C4s are kind of buggy, so you have to place both of them. Because I remember when I was playing like the instant action version of this, I couldn't take down an obelisk with a single hotwire, even though I was able to like detonate everything. Yeah, there's a there's an MCT bug with the uh, with the defenses. So, I mean, this version is not without its bugs, but it's still pretty fun as you see. Okay, that is a bug. All right, I was just wondering if you guys were like switching that up at all. Like how many C4 does oh, take no, to kill Oh no, definitely us. not. Yeah, Zixor, I believe you had someone with a question? Yeah, how do you, how do you guys balance this game? 
That's a good question which I cannot answer, but Fabi? Hold on a second, I'm in a little battle here. Okay, well, say again. I guess you can say there are. Um, how do you guys mature this game's balance? I think it's a lot of beta testing and just trying out how things work. And make sure that both teams like almost equal, uh, have almost equal win rate. Hmm. And then you know it's balanced. Uh, is there any chance you're going to add bots? Ever? Uh, the single player obviously has some bots, but I think for multiplayer, there's some there's some plans to do like a kind of skirmish mode, where uh, we can program the bots to use purchase terminals and you know destroy structures and repair structures that are damaged and things like that. Um, that's something that we definitely want to see. Question. Yeah, there's a self tank up on the rocks. Yeah. Uh, and see behind us. Watch it. Yeah, somebody was asking Gunner why he was on 16, 17 plates. Oh, Yo, you're kind of quiet, Dixer. Can you speak louder? The reason why I'm at 16 right now is because the Gunner map is why he was on I've never played this map before. Yeah. It's all the map's fault. Okay, somebody has a question. You believe. Oh, yay, five minutes. What's the question? Yeah, he says he has a question, but that's the only thing he says. Oh. But he's probably talking oh, that's right good. now. We don't want to rush you, you believe. Take your time. Everybody's waiting. Oh, when you do drop the time C4, oh, if you, you look at it, will it actually yeah, count down? Yeah, it already uh, does. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just never noticed. Just wondering if that was the case. <laughs> well, yeah, probably I'm that timer right now. You're, we're running away. Back in the first game, you used to be able to detonate C4 by using timed C4 and right clicking. Can you do that again? Or do you have plans to do so? Are you talking about detonating the, uh, remote C4? The, uh, time C4? Remote C4. Oh. Uh, you can oh, already wait. do that. No, it was actually, not, you, you can't detonate the remote C4 with the time C4, if that's what you're asking. In the original, you could, though. Yeah. Any, I remember any that. Any chance of that? No, I think that was a bug. It, it was still cool, though, because whenever you switch classes, you know. <laughs> well, you really, that's something the guy that found the banana uh, made up, so that's why they don't call it orange. Uh, I mean yellow. <laughs> You're reading the troll questions on chat, nice. Yeah, he says if oranges are called orange, why oh aren't no! bananas called yellows? <laughs> well, that's an interesting question. Very yeah. good question. Yeah, yeah. I also wondered why door hinge was the only word that uh, that rhymes with orange. Whoa. I didn't think anything wrong with orange. Can you guys undress the character model? Of course we can, but you can't. Oh yeah, any plans to add nude I'm mutators? Well, not from our side. Uh, <laughs> okay, Fabi, one for you. How big is the team working on this game? Twenty. Uh, that kind of varies whenever you talk to us, but... I'm gonna say 10 active members and 10 that just sort of come on whenever to work on something. Every now and then. Oh, Ion Cannon. Whoa, this Ion Cannon is actually angled? Nice! That's cool. Well, the single player's at alpha stage right now. And it's getting internally bad at play. Are all, are all Ion uh, Cannons angled now? I think it no, depends on what how you see? plant the beacon. Oh, okay. Because that'd still be cool, though. Yeah. yeah. I actually We're working on a new an Iron Cannon animation, because this one's kind of lacking, but uh, uh, Nielsen here is working on a new one for Black Dawn. 
Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully. <laughs> Probably. Oh god, that was terrible. This APC pushed me into the obelisk. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, Bobby, can we disclose the ideas we had on the uh, new iron cannon or not? Yeah, go ahead. I know. Uh, yeah, okay, so we will. Yeah, have you got a new question or should I finish my, uh... No, finish your thingy. Yeah, okay, so Fabi and I were talking about it, uh... A few weeks ago, I guess. Uh, that's... I don't know if, uh, everybody's played Dawn of War here. But when they fired the orbital cannon, uh, your troops would get sucked up in the, into the air. And it might be fun for our iron cannon to have the same sort of effect in the last few seconds. So everybody close by would uh vacuumed in from the explosion. Yes, yes. Yeah. Slightly. Like off. they would hover levitate just a little bit over the ground, uh, and start to like what what we wanted to do was uh right now when you plant a nuke, uh you can disarm it like literally when the nuke's right above your head, which is kinda cheesy in a way. So we wanna do like a uh you know, normal normal time to uh, disarm time, but we want to have like a five second explosion time where that's when the actual nuke or ion cannon comes down. And at that point, it'll be too late to uh, disarm the nuke. So the ion cannon actually will, um, in that last five seconds, uh, it'll start to suck you up just a little bit and uh, and then strike everyone in the vicinity and just sort of throw them off the map. It'll be fun. It looks like the map is about to end. Ooh, countdown. Game over. Nice. I'm real countdown. <laughs> About time. The game. Yeah. When Did I have my mammy. So, yeah. Fine. <laughs> I'm going to do one more map and then I'm going to uh, go to the chat room and answer questions if you guys have any. Game over. Game over. So, when you hit escape, Not will one. there be a button where it can change theme, like in the old one? There already is one, actually. Oh. I mean, we like, just don't like to advertise it, so people... <laughs> like, when you go UDK, like, will you have a completely customized UI like that? To be like the original? Uh, we tried to do something with the with this version. Uh, it was kind of buggy, so we removed it. But, yeah, we hope to... I mean, since it won't, be, since it's just UT3 menu right now, we want to have our own menu, and we want to have a new HUD, and just the way things work will be slightly different as well. Oh, volcano! Cool. Yeah, this is a uh, a stock map. Well, I guess every map now is stock because we already played. But, but I mean, like this one's actually made by the devs. Spawn killed. Nice. <laughs> I was there. Downloading. Warning, GDI Tiberium. Yeah, me too. But the refinery's gone by the time I'm yeah, done downloading. I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're gonna refinery rush. You're gonna be terrible. Well, you're downloading a lot faster than I am, so. Nod, Tiberium Refinery, destroyed. Ah, oh, yeah, the Nod Refinery is down. Good, good job, guys. Yeah, we're already yeah, losing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Still at 50%. Oh, I'm GDI, yeah! I'm the power <laughs> hey, gun run. Uh, where are you? Power plant, Goodbye. repairing. Okay, nice. Okay, I'm right at the left door, so you want to follow me? Sure. Oh, apparently I'm not on your team. Okay. Hey, Bobby. Let's go. 
Man, hearing all those repaired sound effects or like sounders freak me out. So much. Surprise! Oh no. Oh, oh man. he's trying to see for us. Nice. Whoa, C4 still explodes. No. About uh, how many? How about how long uh, a days in the week is the good luck have fun uh, streaming service open? Oh, we stream like almost every day for StarCraft events or um, just to play video games. We try to keep something on all the time. Uh, me and two other people. Well, probably where's uh, Jeep Ruby and stuff? Uh, Jeep Ruby has a, uh, I guess, belated Christmas party or something like that. Ooh, Jeep Ruby, I remember that guy. Yeah, he's on Is our he mod, gone? and he also made the uh, uh, Project Regenesis mod for for uh, CNC3. Yeah, I remember playing that. We used to hang out. Oh man, <laughs> that guy just died. <laughs> Uh, well, I think that was me. <laughs> you ran into the weapons factory? Yeah, I don't know what I was doing. Oh, <laughs> uh, I weapons like the factory needs repairs. I like the gift. Yeah, can you repair that? I just bought a class. Sure, no problem. <laughs> hey, you want to wait up, actually? Um, I could come in with you. Sure. You want to take down something? <laughs> now let's do it. Let cool. me just get a uh, this guy. Go. Cool. Yeah. Man, I can't wait for a UDK, like, better graphics on this would be sweet, like, with the new Unreal 3 stuff. Yeah. Nod airstrip under attack. Well, that was a waste of money. Did you die? Yeah, the guy threw a C4 in my face. Oh, I picked up your repair gun, apparently. That's oh, kind of interesting. Hmm. You can probably go back and pick up my rocket launcher. I did that, too. Okay. Uh, we're not getting any puns. You're not, right? No. Yeah. Uh, not artillery. Is that you? Oh, that picture. Well, probably I'm behind you. A lot of things need repairs, like the power plant right now. <laughs> Ow! Whoa, that was a really good hit for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm really bad at this today. <laughs> He's always bad, oh. don't mind him. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm this really way. rubbish. Okay, because I, I, I have no clue where to go. Oh, by the way, we are using TeamSpeak and not the voice. There's, there's no voice chat into this game. Uh, to the chat people. Warning. We're asking. Yeah. And I hope there will never be voice chat in this game. <laughs> Ooh, good song. Well, oh, I almost got the bomb on place that I stole from you, Fabi. Hey, Zixer, get a uh, MRLS. Well, if you could ask that like three seconds earlier. Oh, sorry. I, I have uh -oh, to call Nelson plan. now. Damn you, you're all the guy again, huh? Yeah, the name's Nielsen. <laughs> <laughs> I like to call him Nelson. I don't know why. It's the same as he's in, in Dutch, he's called uh, Robin, but I always call him Robin. He 
stuff is like Yeah, you're so funny, man. Oh, wow, C4. I didn't play it funny, but I am. Ah. Oh, and again, a headshot right, sniper rifle? You're Knight. not even using a sniper rifle. You're using a chain gun. No. Right? No. Of course I'm using really? a chain gun. Huh. Chain gun rocks. I'm gonna try oh, this to cross is a good song. vehicle section. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, do you guys have weapon spawns? Like, if I go to that weird, like... I think this server has weapon drop, but not weapon spawn. Ah. It'd be cool to be stealth like hand with a sniper rifle again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I hope you guys had the chain gun, the laser chain gun soon. <laughs> I missed that guy. Yeah, we haven't added that yet, but we do have plans to add that as, as well as the chem spray and the other missing GDI weapons. Yeah, because the laser chain gun was uh, We couldn't hilarious. include all the characters in our initial oh, release, crap. so we wanted to include the, the most important ones. Sorry if I cut you off. No, no. I really love the boink sound. Yeah, if, if we didn't bring that back, then there would be no point in making this mod. <laughs> I'm behind you, Fabe. You go Yay. first, they will let all the mines explode and die, and then I go. True. <laughs> Here, uh... We can Another just disarm one. them. Headshot. Here, just cover me. Ow. Oh. oh, you can really disarm them. Yeah. They do it faster? Oh, well, that's a way to. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> no more. I thought you saw them, but you did not. <laughs> oh, no, I saw them when it was too late. <laughs> Damn it! I missed the MCT. Oh, I could have killed it. <laughs> I could have killed it. And for those just tuning in, uh, you can visit, you can download this mod at renegade-x.com and get some videos and screenshots and other cool nice things. Yep, you also need to buy Unreal Tournament. Oh. It's now on Steam for like 20 I think. I think you get... Yeah, and every now and then there's a Steam sale like something. extra 10 bucks. Uh, next time that happens just PM me. <laughs> grab one of those. Yeah, like when the mod first came out it was $10 so I think uh, this one guy went and bought like 40, 40 Unreal Tournaments and just gave them out. Ooh. That's a nice guy. We need more people like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, destroy, motherfucker. Warning. GDI power plant destruction imminent. Oh man, not oh, come on, we lost the refinery in the first second. Well, it's took them them out to kill the person inside of the airstrip. It's only thirty seconds that you keep the vehicle, right? So I need to get inside within thirty seconds. Yeah, uh, yeah. Otherwise, it becomes free, like really open game. Is that anyone, including enemies? Yes. Damn, time to get in that mammoth tank. I was busy repairing the refinery. I need someone at the refinery. Oh, we're at their base, like, ripping it apart. Yeah. I destroyed two buildings. Destroyed. Oh, I think, I think the game's done. Oh, yeah, there we just go. win. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, I just blew up the power plant. Nice. Next map. Complex. Love that map. Mm. I love maps without defense.
kit because it's way more fun as an infantry guy. Is city in this um, layout yet? Like, is that map included? What map? City. 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 Uh, someone was remaking it, but that didn't end up getting done. Okay. Oh man, complex. Pretty complex, dude. Yep. Yeah, and, and the best battle. part is, uh, I think our best looking map is Islands. And uh, I remember one time on the day of the release, we went and played Islands, and uh, then I went to the old Renegade to play that Islands, and uh, everything looked so bad, I couldn't play anymore. <laughs> yeah. This mod will just single-handedly kill oh. all of Renegade 1. <laughs> I have to see this rush, man. Really cool. The GDI oh guy. No. Seven at the time. Oh, I got to take a nap. Oh, nice. I, I need to jump more. Jumping is way more effective here. Because your animation goes crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is sort of your classic like arcade game. This is jumping around and running. <laughs> Headshot. Who gave that guy a flamethrower? Uh. Oh. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh wow, GDI. Wouldn't oh. be like that. Yeah, personally I hope the new uh, version of Renegade will include less jumping and more tactical uh, play, like Battlefield for example. But that's just me. It just that the end, like the model just just does this weird hand thing and like changes his head location. Yeah. yeah, it looks a bit silly. I still kind of like the taunts, but it's still kind of ridiculous. He can still fire. <laughs> hey, gun run, get in. Sure. Drop me off at a cool place. I have control of your turret, but I can't fire. Oh, that's just the uh, the angle. Uh, just ignore that. Okay. Well, where the hell did my APC go? C4 and MCT. I see the gun run has ended our war factory. <laughs> Yep, Ben died. Oh, I man, there's too many of them. Any chance of kill cams? <laughs> of what? Kill, kill cams. Cam. Oh, yeah, just press K and... or hold K, rather, and you'll get all those stats. Oh, by the way, Fobby, uh, the gun run was asking about directional armor. Are we adding that in the uh, new version? Directional armor? Like the front of the tank would be yeah. more armored, so you always want to be angled that way. Oh, so like sensitive parts of the tank, you mean? Yeah, like how in CNC3 you could have reverse move and that would be more effective. Because the front of the vehicles would right. be exposed. I guess we'll back. think about it. Uh, probably something that we should discuss first, but yeah. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. But I think it's more logical to have the front more armor than the back. Yeah. Yeah. On that note, it wasn't very effective in scene C3. I mean, uh, units died pretty fast, so... Oh, I saw reverse moved. Yeah, yeah, true, but... Uh, I keep thinking of uh, Company of Heroes, which did it a lot better in my opinion. Yep, I just got raped. Uh. Yellow team is winning. It's 
strange. I'm like lost, but I killed like five people. Uh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. How are you for on the ground? Ah, yeah. oh, nice. <laughs> that was over 30 seconds ago. Yeah. Anyway, I've got a double barrel surprise for you. And it'll take a while <laughs> before I give it to you. Uh oh, thing oh mammoth tank. I'm in the mammoth. Yeah, I've got one too. Where How did you leave the refinery? What the heck? My mammy got killed? How the hell? Well, we've got like 10 people shooting at you. Still, it's Mammy. Someone's trying to plant an ion. Location? Well, I, I need some. Plant one. Yeah, I got my iron, got my fast moving Nod vehicle. Warning, Nod airstrip under attack. Hmm, the underground complex is pretty cool. Nod repaired. Always loved how empty it was. Are you talking about the underground? Yeah. Oh, I think I'm right behind you. Or something. I see you on my radar. Yep. Oh yeah, and the radar works in this game. Um, if you or your teammate targets an enemy, I think they appear on your radar for 10 seconds. Otherwise, they don't appear. Oh, God. I went all the way to GDI base in the refinery and get destroyed by prox mines. Great. Any uh, questions coming in, by the way? If uh, somebody's know. still taking a look. I don't know, I thought you were keeping an eye on things. No, not really. Oh! Nice. Goodbye, guys. Ah, uh, yeah, I had a nice trick. Just plant the thing and go stand on it with your uh, tank. <laughs> Nobody can defuse it. I missed it. the explosion. Well, I got exploded, so I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it. left. Who left uh, there? I think Havoc. Yeah, that was Havoc. Because he also left in the game. Yeah, there's this annoying dude with a flamethrower. Oh. Not anymore. We're still owned right now. I see a nuke. Oh, that's on our base. Nice nuke. Everything's on fire. So why didn't we win yet? I thought we did kill all the things. And now the uh, hand of Nod is still standing. Warning, hand of Nod under attack. Ow. <laughs> and I'll pull it repair, guys. Yep. <laughs> Try to take the battle outside.
Don't put that in my face. Oh god, nope. Ion. Yeah, finally. Where is it? Let's oh, go, Papa! Go. Oh, it's on the right side. No! Towards them. Got them proximity mines yet. Thingies. Let's buy two... Mammoths. Wait, uh, where's the Iron Cannon? Mammoth. Outside, towards them. We'll buy an, an Iron Cannon. Oh shit, there it is. Where? Oh, there it is, yeah. <laughs> Bit of lag there. Oh, uh, by the way, Bob, there was a bug in buying an Iron Cannon. If, if you buy two, you just lose the money, and then you have only one. Is that always the case, though? You gonna reverse one, or? Oh, we just GG'd. Uh, oh, field. What's the next map? Field, huh? Field. Okay. Then I'm going to quit. I hate field because of the defense systems. No, I feel awful. Awesome. I still have to do some stuff. Yeah, me too. So I guess sure, we'll leave you, you guys for 15 minutes. All right, take it easy, guys. Yeah, okay, 15 minutes. Take it easy, guys. Yeah. Okay, I'll stay for a bit, but not for long. <laughs> Ooh, fields. Okay. Ooh. Only if you're on my team, Bobby. I'm oh, on GDI. You? Yeah, me too. That was gun run. GDI. Good. Yep. So dark. I love it. They can bring up the brightness. Yeah, their harvester is pretty much taken care of. We got three C fours on it. Nice. I just got uh, chased down the ramp by three Nog guys with a flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, I see them. Oh, there's some like epic action scene here on the field. How about making mission maps? Well, the tent alone game uh, single player will first be released and that's uh, uh, entire mission uh, is this a question yeah it was and now it's answer and one other question is do the devs have plans on moving to the chat log I will imagine it being a lot annoying having to look to the top just to have the message it's yeah, if I can get a link, uh, I'll be there in a few minutes. www.goodluckhavefun.com TV. Oh, no, not TV. GLHF.tv. Yeah, that. Yeah, the computer, the main com uh, control center uh, drains faster health and damage if you uh, use that uh, then instead of shooting somewhere on the building. I'm the only tank on the field. Will they allow for an option to render? Never heard of it, but it sounds cool. Probably most teams don't want to surrender because they think they can defeat the other one. That'd be kind of funny, like, if more than half of your team says they want to surrender, you surrender and go to the next map. <laughs> Warning. Yeah. Factory under Maybe if you're, like, getting a settlement and nobody wants to play it anymore, then you can do that. I think it's a great idea, actually. Hmm. Or just enable uh, map coding in the game itself. That should be maybe easier.
Get snipers only mutators, huh? Missiles old snipers only I servers. Only mutators. Yeah, just snipers only. Yeah, I remember the old Renegade had sniper only servers. How do you buy vehicles? Well, you go to a control panel that's like a, a big computer screen. Then you press enter, and then you uh, look at what you want to uh, get. For example, if you want to go uh, buy some guns, you click on the characters, and then you can have uh, all the choices you want. And if you want to buy vehicles, you just click the vehicle icon, and then you have all the vehicles you want. There's still many at least you have to have enough money to buy it. Fifteen. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, oh yeah, and you can only buy vehicles if your weapons factory or airstrip is still up. But if the other team destroys it, then uh, you can't buy vehicles. So it's good to keep the buildings alive. Yep. Well, exactly. Hey, the that new plan, by the way. What? The nuke? I never saw one. Oh, we disarmed it. It was uh, near the GDR refinery. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh no, well, flying factory needs repairs. We already answered your thing. The airport is the vehicle uh, supplier of the NOD team. So if you don't have an airport, you will uh, not be able to buy any vehicles anymore if you're in the NOD team. Okay, let's start resisting, guys. Yeah, might be a good idea. Well, harvesters yeah, will uh, get you money, so if you keep the harvester, that's a car that driving from the re refinery to the harvester field. If you keep that alive, then you get a lot of money and you get a high consistent money flow. That's not much, but it's something. Oh, and you can always, um, if, if you're, you're a little confused, if you're curious about the uh, CNC mode in Renegade X, uh, all you need to do is go on YouTube and search Renegade X CNC mode. Uh, that's C and sign C uh, mode. Uh, and it's there's a, a full a two minute, three minute demonstration of, of exactly what the mode is and what do you have to do. It's a remake uh, for Unreal Tournament 3 at this moment. Uh, so you require a, a copy of Unreal Tournament 3. Uh, it's gonna be a standalone indie game and that doesn't require any game except this game itself. Yep, and we're called Renegade X. Ten, nine, eight, seven, I just saw a buggy drive into the water. That was five, awesome. <laughs> four, three, two, one. Oh, oh, nuke! Oh god, the refinery. No! I needed money! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot to say that you get also credit for killing people. Well, Jimmy Kudo, you can buy an instrument 3 and then download the mod for free and then you can play the epic. Get away for next Steam deal. <laughs> Well, the guys that are talking, except Gunnar, are part of the Renegade X developers team and other players that are in the game. Some are also developers, but most are just players. Yeah, I think I'm gonna quit the game now, because uh, <laughs> I still have got lots of stuff to do for uh, school tomorrow. I'll be in the chat as well. I meant to get yeah, Nielsen, uh, if you don't mind, you can answer some of the questions also as they're posted. Uh, yeah. What was the uh, link again? GLHF.tv GLHF.tv 
Oh, I, need I gotta remember to press that button I'll send down. It to you. It's the I want team to speak with them, so can, they can only the hear me when I press that button. Too, so it doesn't really matter. For everybody that wants to know, you can always send it to me. But I don't think we have an official donate bank account thingy. <laughs> it's uh, asking for a username and password, which I don't have. Oh, register at ustream.tv. Given IRC client, I can just auto uh, um, admin you and voice you. Uh, hold on, I got that through uh, twice because I, <laughs> I was watching the stream. Can you repeat that, please? <laughs> oh, do you have an IRC client of some sort, like MIRC? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Alright, then you probably just have to register at Ustream then. Ow! Uh, Zixer, you're on Ustream as well? A uh, what? Are uh, you on Ustream as well? I have no clue what it is. I'm just looking at the comments and then I'm just answering them with my mouse instead of typing. All oh, right. Yeah, that's, that's okay. <laughs> I can do that too, I guess. For any questions that you will have or want to ask later on, you can always visit the form uh, www.renegadex.com slash forms, if I'm not correct. Renegade-x.com ah, The rack's destroyed. Somebody's asking if we... <laughs> well, it's not really asking. Ordering us to undress the girl character. Hmm. Yeah, Which but that's one? the same guy that asked it already like four times, if I recall correctly. But yeah, Marco, we did see her naked already, but that's only for developers inside, because we cannot <laughs> be sure if you're uh, adult or not. Because most users that are uh, 11 plus are already smart enough to say that they're 18, so they can use to that to see the content. Wow, there yeah, are a lot of there. Uh, we have a special pedophile check as well, so uh, <laughs> if you're one of those, you won't be able to see it. Which obviously this chat room is filled with. <laughs> Let's go to the chat room. AIs in UC3. Well, uh, well, there's no programmer here, but I can definitely say that's difficult. Well, there's already a very good I, I, AI system in Unreal Tournament 3, so it uh, shouldn't be too hard to put it in, but there are things like buying and shooting and using the systems uh, of Renegade X that will take some time to program. But oh. the standalone mission will have AI uh, controlled uh, buffs, so there is AI in the next standalone game. I'm not sure if Renegade X and Retriment 3 version is getting it, but that's for 5v2 to decide. Oh, Horlage. How about a co op mode? Uh, I think um, what we want to do eventually is, because um, like I mentioned earlier, we're making Black Dawn, which is that uh, sort of mini campaign thing. So I think we want to make that, uh, like eventually, not, not in the next release, but eventually make that also a, uh, an online uh, aspect. So it could be co-op, so you and a friend can pretty much play the, the, the single player online. Um, and the other idea was to make some kind of assault mode, like a Command and Conquer assault mode, where it's it's like Command and Conquer mode, except with um, with with objectives essentially. 
Yeah, I would love it. So the, the only objective is not just to destroy the other base, but say you could have an objective of, you know, rescue scientists, for example, and then that'll be like a side thing that one team has to do and the other team has to sort of, you know, defend them or whatever. Or if there's a prison camp level and uh, Nod has to break free some prisoners, like, that's something that we definitely want to do, and I guess we'll see. By the way, Fabi, I always see those ranking systems, like those guys coming in are 100th of the team with that and that, I don't know what, but um, is there somewhere a site or something that you can see? Uh, who's yeah, thanks for reminding me. Uh, there's a there's a Renegade X ladder as well, and you just need to go to our forum, just go to the general section, and I think the thread is stickied, and it's I think it's called Alex Stats. It's on the MP Gaming website. But essentially, just go to renegade-x.com, go to our forums, and go to the general section, and you'll see a thread for uh, server stats, and you can see your kill death ratio. Uh, where you are in the standings and things like that. How about a spectator mode? Do you guys plan to implement one? Implement, sorry, what? Spectator mode. Like if this were to go pro in some way. Uh, probably not because, um, I mean that would be nice for like videos and such and we already have something called rifle cam for that. But an actual like in-game spectator mode, probably not because then you'll be able to see exactly what the other team is doing in their base. Hmm. Whoa, but I'm it, but it, it would be possible via like yeah. a mutator though, right? Like if this were to turn into like a tournament style game? Yeah, there's actually something uh, called Rifle Cam. Uh, it's, it's for UT3, but we've also used it for Renegade X. Because uh, the guy that made it, Rifle, uh, is, is part of the team. And essentially, it records uh, the game, and then when you use Rifle Cam, you can it's essentially, it's like a replay of the game, but you can go it, you can go in like a spectator mode and, and see any part of the map during that game, during that recording, and slow it down and things like that. Yeah, it'd be cool if there was a replay system. Yeah. If this does eventually just go, I don't know, it'd be cool if there's one pro or something. <laughs> Yeah, there will be, yeah. I, uh, Rifle has plans of making the Rifle Cam available to uh, all Renegade X players. So that'll, that'll be really good for uh, Clan Wars and things like that. And we've also used it for some of our trailers as well. It's very nice. I see I have three different usernames in this uh, top 127. I just saw a question, by the way. Uh, does Tiberium deplete like in the real CNC? Uh, well, that certainly would be nice. Uh, I think we would do that a as an afterthought. I mean, uh, in the first few versions, probably not, but uh, we're certainly looking into a system that makes Tiberium grow or deplete. Gotcha. Right? Oh, wow. Can that kill both structures in its location? Okay, guess not. I was kind of afraid that they put, it was like they planted that ion cannon between both buildings, it would have killed both of them. <laughs> Two birds with one stone. Exactly. Didn't that happen before in the first I game? think you can actually do that in this map, but we don't want to make the super weapons too, um, too powerful, like, because there's only three buildings in this map, for example, and if you can kill two with just one beacon, then, uh, kind of cheap. But it's harder to place it in the middle of both buildings. So... It's actually possible, uh, since the Nod airstrip is pretty close to the Hannah Nod. Yeah, and likewise but I think that's only in this map. Yeah, likewise. What is this map called? 
this map's called Horologe. Um, it's based on, well, essentially, before releasing Renegade X, we had a map, you know, the Hourglass, the remake map, and there was this discussion on whether or not we should keep the defenses in Hourglass because it was too much of a stalemate. So we said, we'll just make a second map called Horologe, uh, where there are no defenses, and we can rearrange the, the base structure and uh, remove the walls and remove the side paths. And uh, it turned out to be one of our best maps. Ah, cool. Or more fun, rather. Hey, Bobby. Why, hello there. <laughs> Uh, people are asking if we have uh, well graphic options being changeable. I think we have, right? Like for settings, you mean? Yeah, graphical settings. Yeah, yeah. You can run this game on lowest, and it's just like UT3. Man, I feel so famous doing a live stream. <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah. You can do this more often, cool, though. Yeah. It's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah just uh, whenever you guys want, really. Whenever we do an event, uh, feel free to uh, join us. Oh, the game is Renegade and this, this is probably the most beautiful map. It's called Islands. Well, for that map, I'm especially coming back. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't take too long to finish that map because it has no defense system. Uh, the best way to contact us is probably through our site or forums. Yep, just go to renegade-x.com, go to uh, the forums, and uh, if you have any questions, just post a thread. Any chance of you guys adding boats or naval? Um, well, right now in Black Dawn, we have uh, gunboats and uh, hovercraft at the beginning of the mission. Uh, they're not like usable by the players, but we did have an, uh, we did have a sort of an informal discussion on uh, uh, certain maps that can have, you know, land, air, and sea units available. Yeah, so that would be something beyond. that we'd love to do. Yeah, Path Beyond has something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, just to clear it up, by the way, we've, we've got fishing trawlers, not gunboats. Yeah, they look a lot like fishing, fishing. trawlers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fishing trawlers with SAM sites. I want to play the Orca. Yeah. <laughs> you can. Yeah, in terms of naval, I mean, hovercrafts, I think, for sure, we'll, we'll, we'll have those. I mean, since that's just really just a uh, armored transport. Uh, gunboats, maybe. I really, really want to have gunboats on the mod. Uh, it really depends on whether or not we'll have time to set it up for the standalone release. But that's something I'll try to push towards. Oh my god, I bought a stealth black hand, this guy's shooting me up. So, getting shot, period, just removes your stealth? It uh, makes so. you, um... Yeah, it, it, it sort of makes your stealth more visible, if that makes sense. Uh. Uh, what is this game is someone's uh, question. <laughs> Charlie Brown, what is this game? Well, this is Renegade X, a mod for <laughs> UT3. Um, Marco's asking if we need money for servers. Well, right now, servers are being uh, run by our fans, right? So. Perhaps yep. I should contact uh, them. After this, I'll try to host a yeah, server the, myself. Uh, 
MP Gaming Community is running the servers, so if they need help, that's uh, best to contact them. Yeah. Stealth. What? I'm amazed to see people here in the chat who don't know about uh, Renegade Axe. It's uh, good that we're showing this, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, I got to see. But I'm happy to see you guys uh, discovering it. Well, not everybody is watching ModDB. Yeah, and if you guys are wondering uh, what kind of awards this mod has won, I mean, I don't like boasting, but uh, <laughs> we, we've won uh, the Mod of the Year award twice. Uh, we got third place for best upcoming mod of 2008, and we got fifth place in best release mod of 2009. Uh, we were also enlisted in the um, Make Something Unreal contest, and we got number two best vehicle set. And one of our trailers got number four best machinima. We remade the uh, opening cinematic of, cin of CNC Renegade. And then there's some other like honorable mentions and such. You can check all our awards on renegade-x.com if you just go to the About section. Uh, the release date for Black Dawn is yet to be determined. Uh, probably in the coming months, though. And Marcus, who needs help? That will be MP Gaming, who is running the server, right, Tommy? Yeah, MP Gaming. I think MP-Gaming.com. Yes, this is free, although you do need a copy of Unreal Tournament to play. Yeah, but the future version will be completely standalone, so you won't need an Unreal Tournament in the future version. Right, well, the guy says he's got that, so... Good stuff. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. And uh, you can always check... Um, well, we have our own server client for the mod, so you can check how many people are playing through the server client, but if you just want to check without it, you can go to renegade-x.com, go to the forums, and at the very top you can always see how many people are playing at a time. So right now you'll see 18, for example. Or if there's anyone else in a different server, I don't know. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> Damn it. Why, hello there. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Kudo asks, what is the vehicle limit? Well, uh, supposedly there is none, but some servers do have a vehicle limit of seven. Yeah, it's up to the server. Um, I think the standard, the standard, there's no vehicle limit, but a server can set a vehicle limit of whatever. So I think the most popular limit was around seven or eight. But the good thing about this game is that, oh, sorry for interrupting, but the good thing about this game is in most other uh, games, you sort of have to sit around waiting for that one or two vehicles on the map. And, like, I know in Battlefield 2, I spent half the time just waiting for the airplanes or whatever. But in this game, you just have to uh, have enough credits for a vehicle, and then everyone on the team can get whatever they want, as long as the respective buildings are still uh, operational. Yeah, and the credits are... Um divided by each player. There's no giant team economy. Each player has to um, manage their own. Oh, I forgot what's going to uh -oh. happen now. Good game. Oh. Uh, Charlie Brown asks, is there character customization? He wants to play a black guy. Uh, Gunner, uh, one of our characters, Gunner, he actually has a fast uh, rocket launcher, and uh, he appears to be African American or African British, whatever the term is. <laughs> <laughs> sure, <laughs> but as far as as far as character customization goes, uh, we won't have any, right? Or perhaps some simple changes? Yeah. Well, we got a boom, um, uh, mostly no, because uh, how Renegade X is set up is that there's about. 14 or so characters per team, and each character has his own, and it, like they have their own health, weapons, and um, and their own look essentially. So we want to sort of maintain that aspect. That way, uh, I guess it's kind of strategic. So if, if there's a rush of the same character from far away, that you, you're able to recognize it and warn your team. 
But if it was just completely customizable, then you wouldn't be able to have that advantage. Yeah, exactly. It would be so hard to tell what weapons your enemy has or like what um, you should be worried about. Right. But um, I think there's some plans for some slight, very slight customization for certain uh, characters, like in the original Renegade, uh, uh, some of the special, the, the 1,000 credit characters uh, had different costumes, so we might implement something like that. Um, thanks that spawn right away have a 30 second delay for uh, other teammates to enter them, and uh, so the owner of the vehicle can uh, immediately enter, but the others have to wait. Oh, also, is there any way I can turn sound off the GLHF website, just so I can listen in? Yeah, there's a mute button. Yeah, just pause it. Oh, but it's also... On the bottom, on the bottom right. Okay, Havoc, what? No, 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 Havoc's not here anymore. That's, uh... Nielsen is here. Nielsen is here. N-I-E-L-S-E-N. -E -E or Nelson Mandela, if you're feel feeling lucky. What game is this? Uh, well, it shouldn't be yes, 100 sir. odd yes, files. Uh, I think uh, you might be installing it incorrectly. Uh, make sure that you have a legitimate copy of Unreal Tournament 3 and the latest patch, and that you have 0 0.55 uh, uh, installed. No, the O is supposed to be an E. Nielsen. Germanic for awesome. Hey. Uh, While well I'm from Holland. I'm from Canada. I'm from Holland? Wait, did I have it unmute when I'm talking to my mom? Oh. I think so. I didn't hear anything, so yeah. Multiple Dutch guys apparently in the chat. Welcome. Well, sorry for that. I I thought I had my button mute, but I. So. Well, there are pretty much a lot of Dutch in the Steam Speak GTP watching thing. If I can see this. Yeah, we're everywhere. Well, I thought Nelson and I could speak Dutch in private and nobody would understand what we were saying, but damn, it's not going to yeah, work Yeah, the like uh, FEOC mentality, we're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the team is uh, pretty much <laughs> mixed though. So, uh, me, Havoc, Deep Ruby, Rob are Canadian and we have a couple Americans and some Dutch and some British. Yeah, for the win. <laughs> I see the gun run still enjoying himself with an MRLS. Kinda. <laughs> oh, you got ran over. Warning. GDI warning. Factory under attack. Factory destruction in the Warning. Factory. Oh god, about to lose Is there any way to see oh how many god. people are actually watching, oh or god. just how many people are on the site? Oh, that is the number of people watching. Uh, 187. I'm not sure if they're watching or just have it on, but... Yeah, that's what I mean. 187. But I think this uh, event, like we're doing right now, uh, maybe we could do a few more than just once. Uh, I don't know how long it is to have an optimal uh, community thing. Yeah, I definitely think we should do this more often. What say you, Fabi? 
What uh, game is this again? This is Renegade X, the Unreal Tournament 3 mod for. Yeah, Unreal Tournament 3 mod, but it will be <laughs> standalone in the next release. Somebody is saying you should uh, put in a third faction. Well, there are only two teams, like you have left and right, so... I'm not sure if a third team is necessary to make this game any more fun. Yeah, it's green, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <coughs> I think if you had a alone. third faction, that would be very difficult to balance everything. I mean, it's already difficult as it is. Because both teams are completely dynamic. They're both different. They both play differently. Uh, this isn't just red versus blue, essentially. This is two completely different factions. Unreal Tournament is around $10 right now. Maybe less if you find the correct store. Oh, I if found you find the correct store, please post it here. <laughs> well, that's like a retail store, not an online store. Uh. Well, URLs are removed in game. You can always do other things that it looks about exactly the same. Just a type of www for a AAA or something. Yeah, yeah this mod is free. free. Yeah, Unreal Tournament 3 is not, uh, though. But there are always people that not buy it and just do it the illegal way. We're not encouraging that at all, so don't blame us if you did. Yeah, and for anyone that's just tuning in, you can uh, download this mod for free at renegade-x.com. Just go to the download section, and you can also download the Renegade X soundtrack if you like music, which I think that's most of us. <laughs> if you like music, do this. Awesome. Yeah, the soundtrack is pretty good though. Warning. Really like the covers. Can somebody kill Silent Assassin and Distort Motion because they're my friends and I would love to see them die? Or are they already quit? Goodbye, Flying Warpig 1. See you flying. <laughs> and we got a few more viewers. 194. By the way, Gunner, can I say that you have a lovely uh, audio voice for television? Oh, thanks. It's destruction based. Uh, you need to uh, destruct the opposite base, like kill uh, the hand of knot, and that makes the opposite team uh, disable the the buy system for the infantry. And if you disable the warp tree, for example, that disables uh, the buying for vehicles. Yeah, there's a two teams and each team has several structures depending on the map and each structure has its own unique purpose in the game so uh, they're, they're sort of like vital organs uh, the weapons factory build or allows allows the players to build vehicles uh, barracks and hand of nod allows care uh, allows players to uh, buy advanced weapons there's automated defenses there's power plants which power those defenses so uh, yeah, essentially, you have to destroy the enemy base, and with each building that you destroy, it cripples them in that certain way. More people starting to talk about your voice, uh, Gunrun. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I keep forgetting to hit my middle mouse well, to the Siberian doesn't uh, hurt you that much, but if you run around the entire field, you probably die. Depends on the, how big the field is. 
And some maps have higher kill rates on Tiberian than others, I believe. Well, some maps have thirds in them, some maps don't have thirds in them, so it's really up to the uh, map maker if they're in or not. Yeah, but there's no uh, Battlefield 2 commander view, so to speak, where you can build your own turrets. That's uh, probably out of the question. Well, guys, I'm off. Um, it's distracted me way too much for the work I still need to do for my school. So. I meant take it easy. Yeah. yeah, later. Au revoir, Salute. Or is that? Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Again? Yeah, tomorrow. Uh, one hour before. Um, yeah. Before, before the assessment starts. Yeah. Uh, which hour would that be? I don't know. Wait, let me do. Well, I drag you to another channel. One sec. Nod obelisk under attack. Nod harvester under attack. Warning: GDI power plant under attack. And uh. uh Isildur72 asks a question, he says, uh, do you guys have a city map so you can do aerial battles? Uh, in the current version 0 0.55, we don't have uh, air units yet, but we do plan on releasing a standalone version, which uh, will feature aircraft on certain maps. So the planned aircraft so far are the Orca, the Apache, the Chinook helicopters, and we do have uh, we do have plans for uh, for an eventual airstrike beacon feature. So you can call in airstrikes on certain areas. So it should be pretty interesting. In the old Renegade, you were able to access terminals from through the wall, but uh, we decided to take that out because <laughs> that's not the way the game was meant to be played, essentially. Uh, Lemon Roll asks, how much have you had to balance healing buildings with damage taken by the building? Um, I'm not entirely sure what you're asking, really, but uh, essentially there's two two engineer classes, there's the hot wire, which is the advanced class, 350 credits, and then there's the free engineers, and uh, both have a repair gun, the, uh, the more expensive one obviously does, uh, more. it repairs much faster, it has a longer range uh, tool as well. Um, most, vi uh, most vehicles with an explos explosive uh, projectile can do good damage against the building, but See, right now you can see there's two hot wires repairing the barracks here, uh, and that would be able to fend off from most kind of attacks. So there's really two ways to destroy a building in this game. You can either destroy it from the outside with an explosive weapon or a tank, or you, or you can uh, infiltrate it from the inside and just blow up the uh, master control terminal, which is that computer that they're repairing right there. Uh, or you can plant a super weapon just anywhere around the building. And I think a super weapon just blew up. Yep, we just lost. 
Oh, good game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, under, nice. Uh, it depends on how many people are healing. Like, if it's just one person healing, yeah, the uh, one or two vehicles can overcome that heal. But if the entire team is sitting in a building healing it, uh, they'll be able to keep the building alive, at least from the inside. But the, uh, that's not exactly a smart idea, because then the, the other team will just plant a nuke right outside, their, uh, right outside their front door and essentially just blow them all up. Uh, Black Dawn currently is just single player, so there's no co-op mode, but we might want to add that uh, later on when the multiplayer release is out. Um, you only have to download maps, essentially, if they're fan maps, but uh, just a couple weeks ago, we gave the, uh, the server s some fixed versions of the stock maps, so Under and Volcano. Uh, so essentially we had, like I said, two fan maps and we Number had two left. fixed versions of the stock maps. Uh, that, that needed to be downloaded, but, but generally speaking, you just have to download the maps first, uh, just once. And then after that, they just load momentarily. Yeah, UT3 Black is what you need. Well, UT3 Black is essentially just under the tournament 3 with the latest patch, so yeah, it works fine. You don't need UT3 Black, but there's nothing wrong if you have it. <laughs> You're having a lot of fun there with the reloading. Yep. I used to love the reloads down in Renegade when I first got yes. the game. <laughs> yes, Black Dawn will have cutscenes. You took away the ability to reload even though you had full ammo. You should bring that back. You should bring that back. I have to be able to reload no matter what was One going second. on. So rhythmic. Um, no, it's, it's it's just one download. Uh, Lemon Roll asks, is Renegade uh, downloaded as a single thing, or is it a lot of downloads? Uh, you just need UT3, the latest patch of UT3, and you just need the most recent Renegade X version, so that's 0 0.55. You can download it at renegade-x.com. The other thing is certain servers might have mutators, like this server has a music mutator, uh, that you'll uh, automatically download uh, as soon as uh, you join a server. Uh, Marco4000 asks, does UT3 patch automatically? Uh, no, you actually have to go manually get the patch. Uh, it's not good. It's, it look good. Is that even on Steam too? Well, on Steam you can just buy the Black Edition, which which is just essentially UT3 with the latest patch. Uh, 0 0.55 is the Renegade X beta version on Unreal Tournament 3. Wow, I just obby walked. Uh, it's the latest version. I yeah, I, I just caught that. <laughs> I'm watching on uh, GLHF. Uh, do you do you want me to link you to the latest uh, UT3 patch, Marco? UT3 has odd jumping, but we removed that for Renegade X. Four 
Oh, he would still like a link. Oh, I can turn the links on for you if you want. Hold on, let me get it. Hand of Nog repaired. Oh, I got the weird glitch with the limbs. I got glitched. Um, as it stands right now, there's no recoil. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> you're gaining stuff it. and you're losing hands. <laughs> Okay, so Unreal Tournament 3's latest patch is called Patch 5, and you can download it here. Oh crap, it just logged me out. Hold on. There. So, uh, Gunrun, is this your site on which you play games every week, or...? Yeah, pretty much. And stream them? Yeah, we do all our StarCraft 2 coverage okay, nice. out here, and uh, broadcasting video games. Okay, cool. Love this part of the map, I can just, like, <laughs> perch it out here, all Assassin's Creed style. I'm actually talking to uh, Beth, the, the freelancer that's making the laser chain gun, and she said that um, she's talking to she? a friend right now, and uh, he just mentioned that he plays a game called Renegade X. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, so we've got a girl creating one of our coolest guns. Yeah, be nice, because I think she's uh, listening right now. Oh dear. I have to say the laser chain gun. I'm just sorry, just sorry if I have... Uh, uh, already nice offended anyway. you. <laughs> hey, you know me. <laughs> when haven't I been nice? Exactly. Yeah, the harvester is automatic. <laughs> no, we don't work for a publisher. It's going to be, uh... Standalone indie game. You need to get signed with EA. Free. And uh, Gunrun over here is driving uh, the most expensive vehicle called the Mammoth Tank. Dual barreled action with Mammoth Tusk missiles, secondary fire. People saying we should get a contract with EA. Well, <laughs> the Nod Nod does not have a counterpart to the amount of tank, but they have an extra vehicle anyway. Like Nod has six ground vehicles, GDI just has five. Uh, so uh, don't worry, they'll be okay. Like even though they don't have an epic vehicle like the Mammoth tank, they have the stealth tank, for example. 
which uh, goes invisible when it's not firing. Yeah, Mammoth tanks are really hard to control too, and especially when you're getting fired on from artillery and going up hill. <laughs> So, Fabi, uh, the standalone version, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing he's talking about the multiplayer, Blackout 187. Uh, it's going to be in the next year? Well, I, I don't want to give an ETA right away, but um, essentially the Black Dawn release will be in the next couple months, which will be the single player uh, mini campaign. It's going to be about an hour long uh, demonstration. Uh, and then I guess the multiplayer will, again, like maybe maybe the end of this year. I mean, the year just started, so I don't want to make any promises. But uh, I guess we'll see. Um, we'll be releasing updates on our site every now and then to keep it, give you guys progress. But until then, this is going to be the final Unreal Tournament 3 release. Somebody's asking, with what game could I compare this? Well, the original uh, Command & Conquer Renegade, probably. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like Command & Conquer Renegade, obviously, because that's the game that it's modeled after. Uh, it's kind of like Battlefield in a way, where there's vehicles, there's two teams, and things like that. But, uh, again, like I mentioned, there there's bases, so... Uh, it's, it's a lot like an RTS game, but from an FPS perspective. I think that's the best way to explain it. And uh, I mentioned earlier in the chat that you can always check out the mechanics behind CNC mode, re uh, the main mode of Renegade X, if you go to youtube.com and just search Renegade X CNC mode. And there's a three minute demonstration So, Gunrun, as a CNC Renegade fan, is there any uh, map you'd like to see in the next version of Renegade? Wall Something flying. that you felt was lacking, perhaps? Yeah. Well. Flying, obviously, okay. <laughs> I don't know, there was that one map that Aircraft Killer made a while back that was a comm center? Oh, yeah, another one. Way back one, yeah. Yeah, we were thinking of including some new buildings like uh, silos and uh, repair pads and things like that. Ah, oh, wow, not really owning right now. Damn. Yeah, Bobby, can you tell something about the contact you had with uh, EA? Oh, me? Con oh, contact? Yeah, EA. Um. Like, lately there hasn't been too much of it, but uh, essentially when we first started the mod, we um, we got in contact with EA and uh, we originally just asked for permission if we can do a remake uh, a remake mod on Neural Tournament 3 and they let us, but as uh, things progressed with the mod, we um, that, that relationship got a lot more complicated. Uh, we sort of became close with EA's old community manager, APOC, and uh, his partner, Tupac. Um, and uh, they helped us beta test. Uh, they featured us at E3. Uh, just, you know, just like a quick, like, 30-second sort of shout-out. The, um, they featured, fe featured us on their blog a few times. Uh, and they also helped us uh, get our prize money at the Make Something Unreal contest. Uh, we won number two at the f at Phase 4 for Best Vehicle Set, and we got $3,000. So 
So uh, normally, yeah, normally, uh, you know, the, the, a mod, uh, a mod that's sort of based on a previous IP would not let you make money off of something like that. But uh, APOC from EA actually made sure that we were able to get the prize money from Epic Games. So uh, and and I got like minus off a, a nice uh, netbook with that prize money. Nice. Yeah, Aaron was a cool dude. Yeah, yeah but unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, EA LA, um, most of the members of EA LA are no longer a part of that team. So, uh, so our, our we haven't really renewed our relationship with EA in the in the previous months. I mean, we just sort of introduced ourselves and exchanged a couple of emails, but that's pretty much it. We were more buddy buddy with the old team. Yeah, it's currently the dark ages pretty much since everyone got laid off with CNC4. Right. Yeah, there's a new team there now, but not too much is known about them. And they're still looking for a new community manager. Uh, Blackout187 asks, um, are all the maps similar uh, to the old game. We have some remake maps and we have some original maps, so uh, Horlage and the two fan maps are original and uh, the other six maps I believe are remakes, but with our standalone version we want to have, we want to put more attention on remake, on, uh, sorry, let me say that sentence again. For the standalone version we have more interest in making original maps, so Nielsen and Zixer, who just left, are, and some others are working on three new uh, maps that we, we, we hope to show off in the coming months. Uh, Jimmy Kudo asked, do the engineers or anyone in the building die when the building they are in gets destroyed? It depends on what's happening, really. The, if, it's, if it's hit by a nuclear weapon or an ion cannon, then uh, in, in, these latest, in this latest version, yeah, they will die. Uh, from the radius of that blast, but if if it's just hit with you know from the outside by artillery or, or something, then uh, then it won't be killed. Or um, the other way to destroy buildings is through C4s on the master control terminal. Um, if you're close enough to the C4, then they will kill you. But if not, then you won't die. And uh, Quickshot10101 asks, when is this going to be standalone? Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, we want to do, in a couple months' time, a standalone uh, single-player uh, mini-campaign. Uh, and then after that, we will, we will be working on our um, multiplayer aspect. So we're hoping to get single-player sometime by the end of this year. Oh, sorry. We're hoping to get multiplayer done standalone by the end of this year. Nice. But until then, uh, Renegade X is on Unreal Tournament 3. Oh, just to clarify, the team wasn't laid off because of CNC4. It was actually during CNC4 they found out that they'd be laid off at the end of the day. Yeah, it, it was quite sad. It was mostly due to the economy, I believe, at the time. Yeah, um, e EA essentially made a new fiscal plan. This was around December last year and uh, and they wanted to they wanted to lay off some of their American workers and instead hire workers from quote unquote low budget countries places like Mexico and China yeah yeah Mexico Woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so in that process uh, EALA got laid off Oh, quick shot! You got a sandy bridge. Oh, I'm so jealous. When I'm streaming this game, it takes up a ton of resource. So, like, I'm at, like. Uh, quick shot one zero one zero one says, "Do people actually play this online, or is it hard to find servers?" Uh, MP Gaming's always running a server, but uh, the the player count differs depending on the time of day. Uh, sometimes you'll find people. Sometimes you won't. Since it's been a, since this has been in beta on Unreal Tournament 3 for more than a year, uh, player counts haven't been as active lately as usual. 
But there are Dev Night events like this one, and I think 32 people showed up to this one. Uh, we've been playing since the morning, uh, so there are events where you can play. You just have to keep your eye on the forums. Love this Zoom. Uh, Jimmy Kudo asked, what projects are ELA currently working on? I have no idea. Uh, I'm not that close to the new team, like I said. And even if I was, I don't think they would tell me. Oh, nice shot there, by the way. Thanks. I miss the sniper only miss, um, servers. Got Ringo's back. I need to get good at this again. Uh, Lexurik says, how much does this game cost? Uh, Unreal Tournament 3 is $20 on Steam. You'll find it for a similar price pretty much anywhere else. Uh, Renegade X, which is the mod that you are watching to your left, is uh, free for download. And one day it'll become a standalone game, and you will no longer need Unreal Tournament 3. And we hope to do we hope to achieve that sometime by the end of the year. I'm gonna run out of bullets. Oh wow, he did get me. Damn. <coughs> uh, Marco4000 asks, doesn't standalones need the rights to the franchise? Well, we don't need the right because we're not selling it for money. It's going to be free for the UDK. So that's settled. Quick shot needs a <laughs> needs a ride to the doctor. Yeah. Nod harvester under attack. Uh, Vixter says, game looks so odd. Yes, because if it was ordinary, then I don't think it would be all that popular. Uh, the point of the game is to, yeah, destroy the enemy base. Yep. So, like I mentioned earlier, there are uh, five or six key buildings in the enemy base. Uh, each building has its own unique purpose. So, uh, you essentially, ha in order to win, you have to destroy the enemy base. There is no kill limit, but, I mean, because killing is not the... I mean, you could essentially win the whole game without killing anybody. But, obviously, uh, most of the time there will be people defending the other base or people attacking your base. So, killing is still a pretty big part of the game. Will it be possible for fans to make a mission map? I'm um, guessing you mean a campaign-based map? Single player? Uh, well, we are including the uh, tools, uh, or at least uh, the map maker for... Uh, yeah, well, multiplayer will certainly be possible, but single player will require... Uh, I think scripting on your part. Uh, Fabi, perhaps you can say something on this. Are we releasing everything for the public? For Black Dawn? I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna have to ask Havoc about that. So, Ken, you're on the forum a lot, so I guess we'll get back to you with that answer. Uh, Jimmy Kudo asks, how come you chose Unreal Tournament 3 for this mod and not any other game? Uh, Unreal Tournament 3, I mean, first of all, we chose it prior to the release of it because it was sort of the main manifestation of the Unreal Engine 3. Uh, so Unreal Engine 3, again, it's a top engine. It was already very famous with Gears of War, which was prior to UT3. And uh, I mean, we wanted this to be a PC game. And we sort of saw that Unreal Tournament 3 also had 
sort of similar gameplay to what we wanted to aim for. Like the sort of fast action, kind of classic style, arcadey, FPS direction. Uh, so, yeah, so, so and, and the other thing is that um, UT3 can really run on low-end commu co computers and, and, and mediocre computers as well, while a, an engine like Crisis, although it's beautiful and although it has a nice editor, um, not all people can run it. So we wanted something that the Renegade fans can also uh, hop on without needing to upgrade their computers, essentially. Uh, Marco4000 asks, how can you create maps for multiplayer? All you need to do, uh, Renegade X has its own editor, so you just have to download Renegade X, load up the editor, and make your own maps. And um, you can talk to the people at MP Gaming, and you can get your map on their server if it's good enough. Um, and people will automatically download it as they join the game. Yes, that's the harvester. Yeah, Vixer asks, is there a miner? So, like Nielsen said, there's a harvester, which uh, goes to the Tiberium field, collects uh, valuable resources, and comes back to the refinery if it's still operational. And that'll give everyone on the team a uh, bonus amount of credits, uh, 300 to be exact. But if the harvester is destroyed, or if the refinery is destroyed, then uh, that will no longer be possible. Looks like they're just nuking their own base right now. They all have this money, but he can't spend it on anything. Seconds to reach minimum safe distance. Twenty-five. Nuclear strike beacon deployed. Twenty. Nuclear strike initiated. Please evacuate target area. Oh wow, that engineer stole my lightning gun. Damn. And you can always see uh, more trailers and things like that on renegade-x.com. Uh, we also have an official YouTube channel. Just essentially, just search Renegade X, and you'll find it on YouTube. So th for those viewers just tuning in, uh, this is the Renegade X mod for Unreal Tournament 3. Uh, you can find us at renegade-x.com. All you need is UT3 to play, and then just download the mod, and uh, you can join us right now. So Vixer says he wishes he w he could be the harvester, and. In the near future, <laughs> that might even be possible. Oh gosh. Yeah, we were thinking of uh, including a feature where you can buy your own harvester, collect your own credits. For those so inclined. The Path Beyond mod for uh, Renegade already has something like that. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll have to look into the option a little bit more, but that's something that we've always wanted to do, so y you'll, you'll be likely to see that in the standalone version. What up, Ion Cannon Beacon? Panther 90 Peppers asks, how hard would it be for infantry to destroy tanks? Well, it depends on the weapon you're carrying, obviously. There are some uh, rail guns and I believe a, a laser weapon as well. Uh, which are fairly effective against weapons, but uh, with a standard assault weapon, you're not gonna assault rifle. Sorry, you're not gonna do much harm, obviously. Yeah. 
So uh, rocket launchers, um, flame, railguns, lasers. I mean that that's, that's all good against the vehicles. Assault rifles, snipers, not so much unless you're uh, just shooting at a light vehicle like a Humvee or a Nod buggy or something. RLPP asks, what is he playing? This is the Renegade X mod for Unreal Tournament 3. Yes. What a refinery. Ah, power plant. This game is really... <laughs> what's the term right now? Ah, kind of even-y. Nice. Yeah. The uh, Marco 4000 asks, you have to drive your own harvester. Uh, the harvester is automated, but... We uh, at the currently you can't buy your own harvester, but uh, in the standalone version we hope to have it that you can buy additional harvesters uh, and drive them yourself if if you so choose. And that would harvest for the whole team, right? Or is it just personal? Oh, with that harvester. Jimmy um, Kudo asks, what machinima is based off this mod? I actually don't even know. If there is a machinima, then uh, I never heard of it. So the harvester, will um, if you do drive it, would that um, benefit the team or just the person driving? We're guessing both, but more so the person driving. Cool. Wow, we are really even right now. This game is tense. Um, the server limit is 32 Kens, but I believe you can technically run a 64 player server, or am I wrong? Huh. I remember in the original Renegade there were 64 player servers. Any chance of getting 128? I think the highest amount of people we've ever had at Renegade X was like 40 something, 46 I think it was. So yeah, we've never gotten up to 100 before, but I think the option is there if we ever want to do something like that. Today the server got full, so I mean that's a good sign. I think we're about to win. With an ion cannon to your right. Uh, Vixer, there is no limit on classes. Uh, could you guys put some stuff like ammo crates and details in the buildings is what Marco4000 asks. Uh, well, it's certainly going to be in the new uh, Renegade X version for the UDK. Um, I don't know if there will be UT3 updates with new and improved maps. Probably should answer yeah, that, Yeah, we do I have guess. some plans of redesigning the interiors of buildings. Uh, uh, right now, they're just sort of empty. But yeah, I think we do want to add some new interior design. Uh, Havoc 89 actually used to work at a place called uh, Home Outfitters over here, and um, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying <laughs> interior design place. Okay, we'll leave that out to Havoc then. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Bergos Roar says, "Remember when you filled your harvester with blue Tiberium in Tiberium Sun, and it would explode if it died." Uh, yeah, that was certainly nice. Um, however, this is, I believe, 30 years prior to Tiberian Sun, and there's no blue Tiberium yet. Um, although, if we're feeling... I don't know what we're feeling. Anyway, if we, if we add that, probably would we be doing such a thing? If we add blue Tiberium at all? Uh, I don't know. Like, maybe if we do, like, a special map, we can add blue Tiberium. Uh... I, I don't see, I, I'm not cancelling that option out, but uh, yeah, Blue Tiberium is more of a Tiberian Sun era thing. So I'm not totally against it, but I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't hold my breath on it either. In that one single player mission, did see one blue crystal? In like a bat? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe in some kind of assault style mission, use it to suicide or something. I think originally we wanted Hourglass to have, like, Blue Tiberium in it, but, um, that didn't end up happening. Yeah, it kind of breaks a bit of the, um, I guess, timeline. Huh. Anyway, I'm going to be heading off now, Again, guys. like, we're not against it as a rule. Okay. Sorry, what'd you say? Yeah, I think I'll be, uh, killing the stream right now. Just going to go sign off now. That's fine, yeah, so thanks for joining us, um... 
This is Renegade X. Uh, you can always find us at renegade-x.com. Uh, server's always up if you guys want to play. Uh, and yeah, I'd like to personally thank the Gun Run for uh, for streaming this uh, for the past few hours. Um, I mean, it's a real honor to be on the site, and I'm sure uh, got a lot more fans now. Yeah, but thanks for letting me do this too. Really Absolutely. love the mod, and I want to see more and more people play it because I really want to just play this more often these days. All right, well, take it easy, guys. Yeah, and don't yeah, be afraid to join us uh, for any other dev night in the future. Uh, absolutely. Later. Okay, so... Link disengaged. <laughs> you gotta love TeamSpeak. Um, so, yeah, that was the Renegade X, folks. Uh, real cool dudes. And, um, yeah, hit up Renegade X. Just check that out at renegade-x.com. So, this is the Gun Run signing off for GLHF.TV. Hope you guys had fun, and I uh, hope to see you playing Renegade soon. Later, y'all. Peace. Insert go in. Batman. Batman. Keep them up, yum, yum.